Anything that starts out with strings is hard. It's true. Alright, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two. Was y'all outside when this was out? I don't, I don't know if I was. Go, going to daycare, maybe. That was like 91. <laughs> you was going to daycare when Butter Love was out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I might have been at daycare during confessions. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Drop the beat. Oh, they didn't drop the beat. All right. Oh. Savon can never be a bartender. That's not how you Microphone beer. check. <laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> Uh, we are back, episode number 151 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Budden. To my right is Maul and Parks. To my left is Rory Erickson and Savon. How is everyone doing? You gentlemen well? No, no, Rory and Maul. That drop is fire. Uh, we should hear from our star. Erickson is the star of the podcast. <laughs> you know what? New, new Chris Brown. Now, let me, let me, uh, let me turn my applause button down. We're going to hit the applause for Erickson, man. For those of you who do not know, Erickson is our new camera guy. The people have dubbed him new, new Chris Brown. And they were pretty impressed with your camera work, man. I'll give it up. Let's turn the applause up, man. <laughs> look, it didn't even look like... Yeah, yeah I know. The camera, work, the camera work was so clear, I wouldn't got a shape up today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was tight. I came without a cut. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It was a lot, a lot going on. So, so shout out to Erickson. Uh, and how's everybody feeling? Everybody's good? Feeling good. <laughs> Short-winded bunch today. Huh? <laughs> All right, so let me forewarn everyone a few things. Uh, number one, I'm a bit under the weather, just a little bit. So if my voice doesn't sound as luxurious as you're used to it sounding. Why you just try to make it sound luxurious? <laughs> and failed miserably. Uh, then that's why, that's one. And number two, I'm in a really silly mood. <laughs> I'll just, come, I'll just come clean. I am. So I don't know how long you guys are going to keep this serious fuck shit going on that you guys got going. Maul setting the tone right now. You know Maul got to just will be... Yeah, I'm so sick of Maul. <laughs> Maul, but Maul Maul's on, exudes cool. But, Maul, but Maul's on time today. Maul's on time today. Listen, so let's get right into the shits. Uh, where would you gentlemen like to start? Uh, let's look at the trusty list. You guessed it. Monique. <laughs> <laughs> let's start let's start with Monique just to get closure <laughs> that's what we needed out of this uh I know when when Breakfast Club teased that Monique interview about 10 days ahead of time I was excited for it and I said yes <laughs> now I will get the answers <laughs> that I have so desperately Word. been searching for I haven't really slept I haven't since. slept in a fucking a peep <laughs> since, since my loves I have not been able to sleep <laughs> Everyone here saw that interview, right? I did not, I did. so I need a little. Uh, what, what happened? I watched. Did the you get the closure thing. you sought? I did. Okay. So, so I, I don't know if I did. Did she get a gig? No. Yeah, she I has mean, a gig. Own, her own gig. But we'll but we'll get into that. Rory, you saw the interview, right? I did. Maul, you saw the interview, right? Yes. So I thought that we would come in here, and I thought that we would just briefly touch on the interview uh, and talk about the closure I got from it. <laughs> and and then Maul just had some takes that I that were your, just different. Got your OLS just, three it, from this. Maul threw me for a loop. <laughs> so I thought that Charlemagne got Monique out of here in that interview. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. That that that's what I thought. Is that what you thought? Why did you think that? <laughs> because he was very consistent in his point. He never left it. He never wavered. I thought I thought that he was consistent in his point as well as being respectful. And I thought that she never answered it. Actually, I thought right. that she did a lot of proving his exact point. Mm. So now how did you feel? How did you feel about it? I mean, I feel that she made she proved what she was saying like as far as like not being treated fairly and her whole thing was, you know, she felt like why did you call me a donkey of the day? Because I wanted to stand up for what I believed in and, I, and what I believed was right and believe and want to be fairly treated. And Charlemagne, and in that point, he was 
it, she proved him to be wrong. Like you, you wrongly called me a donkey of the day because I'm standing up for what I believe in. No, that's that's not what I got from that. And he replied to that by saying, "No, I'm calling you donkey of the day because you're telling people to stand up for racial equality and gender bias when neither one of those reasons are why you got a shitty deal. We know you got a shitty deal. We know that." We know that that offer was some bullshit if you if you want to look at it that way. So why does she get a shitty deal? Oh, that's a different conversation. I, I don't know. Well, because I feel like Netflix felt that she wouldn't get the traction that was worth the money that she wanted. I'm not and going to give you $2.5 million if I don't think I'm going to see some revenue out of that. And I think she answered that. She answered that too in that interview. When she said, when, uh, when, when, uh, when Charlemagne asked her if she was getting offers from other streaming companies, right? And she said, yeah, but the offers are low. That kind of proves Charlemagne's point, one. She then went on to say that Netflix also has a few Monique, uh, Monique assets on their, on their uh, streaming service that they didn't do business with her for, which means that there's a metric that they're looking at. Oh, there's other specials. On Netflix, of according her, to old what ones or something. she said, yes, in that uh. interview, she said she's never directly done business with Netflix herself, but she has product on Netflix. Mm. So then I heard that and said, "Well, shit, even more reason to not beef with Netflix because that means they're looking at a metric right. of of your work. So if they're coming back to you with this bullshit bum ass offer, which it was, mm-hmm. we agree there." It's your job to then walk away from it. You don't have to take it. But for for, for, for you to say that it's uh, gender bias when other women are getting deals, for you to say it's racially qua- uh, a racial issue when other black people are getting deals, that's why she got donkey of the day. And Charlemagne gives out donkey of the day rather often, as long as you have a point. That's a segment that you do up there. Every comedian comes on that show and is very lighthearted about shit. You even joke around about the serious issues. She was the only one up there just real. It was tense. Mm. It, it, it was tense. And, and I didn't really get her point. I didn't get it. She you, didn't, you didn't get why she was she felt the type of way about Netflix or why she was at the breakfast club. I didn't get I didn't I didn't get why she thinks it's racial, a racial issue or a gender issue. I didn't get a clear answer to why she won't do it herself. Well, she says she's she's doing her own thing now. That ain't what she said. When asked about it, she she said she deflected often. She said, "Well, do the other legends uh, do it themselves, or do they have promoters?" Well, we're not talking about the other legends. We're talking about you right now. Oh no, well promoters <laughs> and doing it yourself. Well, I I mean, she has her own comedy thing that she's doing and gonna put out on another platform. It's basically what I'm saying: do it yourself. Like she's basically not worried about Netflix. She's gonna do it. Another way. I didn't understand her husband's reasoning because I'm sure he was talking about how Netflix may put that deal on you where you can't like tour that material for a certain amount of time while the, while the special's out. He was like, we're leaving millions of dollars on the table by doing that. And in my head, I was like, well, then why don't you go fucking do that instead of taking the shitty deal? If you're leaving millions on by doing it yourself, go get your money there. I don't understand I just why. didn't <laughs> understand any of the points. If you felt like, if you felt like you're being blackballed, then if you're blackballed, you're going to take that half a mil, write, write jokes specific for the Netflix stand-up, and then go do whatever you want to do on your own if you feel you are blackballed. I just don't hear resolution when, in, 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 in her replies. I don't, hear, I don't hear the end game in her replies. We're not boycotting Netflix. I'm not boycotting Netflix. Nah. I also didn't get her resume stuff with the almost Christmas thing. And she was saying how that got more money than Amy Schumer's movie. Amy Schumer was the lead in that. Almost she's, Christmas has like 15 stars. She's got to stop <laughs> like counting Monique other was people's not, money too. Was she's got to stop the, counting other people's she money. She didn't drive almost Christmas by herself. Right. That, it literally had like 15 stars. Ensemble in that shit. cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fam, almost Christmas is if it's a Christmas movie. It's like when artists put out uh, albums on Christmas. When they go number one, I don't care. <laughs> it's, uh, you're fucking cheating. It's Christmas. <laughs> shit. Mariah Carey 
still eating off that shit. Word, bitch. Nah, but niggas got hip now. Offset just put a Christmas album out. <laughs> Future. Everybody has a Christmas album. Now. Jim Jones had one a few years ago. I remember that. Remember? Mm-hmm. A Dipset Christmas? But I gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. It was a Dipset Christmas. Yeah, the last <laughs> thing I want to listen to on Christmas <laughs> is Dipset. Let's just be clear on that. Nah, I'm, you know what? I'm not mad at these niggas because on Christmas, after I play uh, It's Christmas, Donny Hathaway, and Let It Snow, Boys to Men, I'm out of it. Because I don't go to Mariah's Oh, joint. no, there's a lot of Christmas and Hollis is on got, your rotation. I don't <laughs> <laughs> what? That, that's valid. No, You're not just pulling up Christmas and Hollis. No, on a on just, June no. June second. No, the Jackson's Christmas joint. Stevie. Yeah, well, what? It's, it's mad fucking March, and we're talking about Christmas songs. <laughs> and I, I, on the law, I did hear that that dip, dip set Christmas shit was fire. <laughs> I don't want to hear. Dip I'm just set telling you that I, you don't want to. Oh man, forget no. it. All right, so uh, that daddy thing too. Well, that was the funniest shit. Because she was sounding so serious oh. and like well thought out. She, yes, tell them about the algorithms and the percentage of that. Right, daddy? And I was like, all right, man. <laughs> you can't sound smart and say daddy in the same sentence. Who was she calling daddy? Her husband. Her husband. Uh, uh, slash her manager. manager. Well. Now, that leads to my other point here that I really can't back up at all. But Monique might be in a sunken place, my nigga. <laughs> Y'all know I say on this podcast, when when people are managed by their lovers... Or loved ones, really, like momagers. Moms, I understand it. But when your nah. significant other is managing you, I don't know, it just seemed like he had some ill type of mind control on her, man. <laughs> Y'all didn't, am I the only one that thought that? Yes. So now if I really dig, <laughs> yes. I am not the only one that thought that. In this that, room, maybe not in the world. In this room, yes, you're the only one that thought that. Yo, Maul is crazy. I, I thought she spoke for herself. For the, so nobody thought her, that no. she was under any type of mind control. No, I felt at like he all. was. I feel like he's terrified. Why? Because she was calling him daddy. <sighs> no, no, because there's nothing wrong with that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, a yes. little, there's a little bit yeah, wrong. There's a lot part. wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with but your the, wife calling you daddy? But every every trip out the gate, you could give me a, a my name every now and again. <laughs> Yeah. Don't daddy me out. Make me she, feel like she a human. emptied the whole clip of daddies like in an instant. <laughs> in an instant, Word, there was no. A, we need a daddy. Cup. Yeah, come on. So what was? And what, then she was deferring. So it just seemed like they are at home getting this together at all times. Of course and wait, they and are. Then I, and wait, oh wait, oh wait. And then I was told. I was told this. I was told this. What was you I told? cannot confirm or deny this. But then I'm told that they're in an open relationship. Uh. That's kind of funny. Does that add to my mind control theory at all? Lie to me now, nigga. Now <laughs> lie to me. Now, now look to the I side. See, I don't see it as mind control, no, because you're in an open relationship. Things are getting weird, though. I think everyone's Yo, in an open relationship. Niggas will, niggas will ignore some shit. To, <laughs> Wait, to, you to, said everyone's in an open what, relationship. I'm not in an open well, relationship. Well, you were the last person to say that, <laughs> too. Low key. No, it's not. It's high key. Nah, I think everybody's in an open relationship. Okay, well, let's deal with the topic at hand. Mm-hmm. If Monique and her husband are in an open relationship, right. and you follow that with emptying a whole clip of daddies in an instant, instantaneously, <laughs> you follow that with letting your husband fucking blackball you and jerk so you, you think, around. So you your... think it's pimping going on? Hmm? I, can see you, I can see why you would think that. Nah. I can see why you think that. And I'm not I saying think, that I, I think, think it. beats him. But, but what I'm saying is I could see it. I could mm-hmm. see it. Mm-hmm. I could just see it. Well, if someone thought that, I would understand them thinking that. I'm not going to say that I think that. Monique has a special coming up. She has. She's doing mm-hmm. Apollo. Okay. She's doing Apollo soon. Is it going to be something that's broadcast? or? I think it's like for Mother's Day. Okay. Because I think Sin... Uh, Hit me all excited about it. I'm like, oh my God, can I go see Monique for Mother's Day? I said, Are you fucking kidding me? You mean this guy has mind control? Monique is beating his ass at home. Yeah. That's the guy that you think has mind control over Monique? Yeah. Yes. No. She beating that ass. <laughs> you making abuse jokes right now. I'm I'm gonna stay away from that. <laughs> but uh, it's not abuse when it's the other way around uh, system. but yeah that, that's what I think about that so alright so you tucked your little tail between your legs don't want to walk out there on that oh, no, Charlemagne no. scoop Charlemagne you had Charlemagne the guy right? is over with you heard him hey Rory hey Rory, Rory. Hey, listen. <laughs> hold on hold on hold on no, let me get my ear on this I still 
Charlemagne the God is out of here. All of them. He is now Rory. known as Brother Leonard. Did the energy on, shift? <laughs> no, we, but we having a conversation now, so it's different. It was just me talking when we came in. But now that we know, brother, brother, it's brother Leonard from now on. You think it's over? Yeah, Charlemagne the God is finished. Why do you? How think so? That? <laughs> yeah, Maul is. Because yeah, you can't Maul let somebody come up there and respectfully get you out of there. <laughs> but she, she didn't yelling. get him out. She did. She did not. It's I now think brother. She danced brother, the whole it's time. brother Leonard from now on. <laughs> yeah. He got to change his handle. It's no more she to God. It's <laughs> brother Leonard from now on. But because that was <laughs> funny and cute, that don't negate her tap dancing. No, I don't think she was tap dancing. But why you why? But why you think it's over? Because she went up there and did that. Well, because she made a valid point on why was she giving Donkey the day for standing up for what she felt was right. All right, is that your only point with why it's over? For who, Charlemagne? Yes. No, it's been kind of quiet for Charlemagne. Though. The Breakfast Club is kind of quiet. Nobody really checks out the Breakfast Club like that no more. I disagree. You think the Breakfast Club is still hot? Yeah. Do you? I think yeah. The same reason mm-hmm. everyone ran to the Monique yeah. show. Yeah. No, that shit did a wait. million in a was, day. No, that was <laughs> but that was Monique. That was more so because Monique hadn't really come out and said much. Come on, since. more. Wait, but so she's y'all going think- to that outlet because it's hot. I don't know if it's hot, but it's consistent. Okay, it's so hot. It's, it's solid. You it's think hot. The, you think the Breakfast Club is still hot? Yes. Okay. It's solid. All right. Okay, so all right. Because they're still creating these. Movies. All right, so here's my question. Yeah, that, for eight fucking years straight. But outside of that. All right, so now my question becomes: All right, so who's the hot media platform in New York? I mean, us, you. nigga. What the fuck? You mean? <laughs> no, niggas don't. Come, did we not a guest? Niggas don't stop uh, that's here right. on a promo run. That's all right. I'm talking about that. I mean, well, if you're talking about radio, no, I'm talking about anything that wouldn't in, in, be included on a promo run, and that wouldn't be our podcast. Everyday struggle. <laughs> oh, yeah, what are y'all? I don't understand. I don't understand. What's going on. So by so by that uh, by that parameter barometer, you still wrong with Breakfast Club? I would think so. I mean, right now they're yes, kind of, they're, the, they're probably I, the only I, I one. What is the alternative? I wouldn't even say New York. I, even I would say the country. Man, get, yeah, probably. We so. are getting off of this. Yes, yes. I'm saying. I mean, there's I'm no saying, other. Okay. There's no other game in town. So yeah, I would say so. Okay, we're gonna revisit this in about two months. Nothing is going to change in two months. Okay. Let's get into Hurt Bay, man. Listen, another, another Lenard. <laughs> oh, I could not stop fucking laughing. This guy's name was Leonard the whole time. This whole year, this guy's name was Leonard, and no one's. It's me always that. funny when you find out somebody's real name. Like Dude. that's that's that makes shit that much funny. Leonard is trash. Yo, you can't you can't be like yo. We, you was never my girl, and your name is Leonard. Like I don't think those two things. You work. shouldn't get to play them games <laughs> as, Leonard, <laughs> as a Leonard. Leonard, stop. <laughs> yeah, that don't even. What's your tag? What's your alias? Lenny. Oh no! See, is, no. Is oh, let me shut up now <laughs> yeah. before I get that, into beef. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yo, Maul and Rory always get so quiet. <laughs> what you mean? Anyway, back to fucking homeboy. Where's the video at? Can we pull up the video? Of Hurt Bay? Yes. Who is... Wait a minute. Brother She's Leonard? This is Brother Leonard now we're talking about. No, it's the other... This is Leonard. She's lying. No, Leonard is Charlemagne. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is right. there a difference? This is Leonard. Huh? Is there a difference? Hey, I'm and pro- nobody is going to continue to call fucking uh, Charlemagne Leonard. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Leonard, <laughs> respectfully. Monique tried to dance and bring up his grandmother and mom. That's how you know you're dancing. Yeah. And that little bullshit metaphor at, at the end on the walkout. Y'all just trying to get y'all just trying to get Monique out of here because yeah, if it was if that was some some sexy hot young actress, y'all would be on her side. Now that it's Mother Monique, Auntie Monique, y'all want to get her out of here. <laughs> but I don't want to get Monique out of here. Word. Nah, I, wasn't gonna, I wasn't yeah, going yeah, to watch I wasn't Monique. watching the stand up whether she got that shit or not. See? But if she if she was a tra- if she was sexy. Oh, and hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Chance. Chance. Oh, yeah. Chance, you don't right. get the fuck out. Chance. Yo, be what very mindful of these fucking ur- urban marketing tactics and ploys. Here we go. What All did right. Chance do now? Right, Just nothing. being Chance? Yeah, he, chance, he come chanced, on, Chance. He chanced his way into this one. Nah, because Drake, Drake got him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, did, what did Chance do? He's trying he try to be back nice again. He tweeted, oh. he tweeted I'm with Monique. I'm with Monique. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Chance, you gotta knock it off. Yeah, I, I, I really believe Chance is a nice guy, but he gotta knock it off, though. He Chance is not with Monique. He's, not, he's never with Monique. <laughs> you never met with Monique. Monique. He's never met Monique. Yeah. He's never been with Monique. None of that. Yeah, no, I'm not rolling. <laughs> Chance gotta chill. And that's my guy, but come on, Chance. No, you're not standing with Monique. And you still have Netflix. I stand. Show me you can't. You niggas real. Show me y'all canceling y'all fucking Netflix subscription. Chance the rapper's gonna get a Netflix in the, show wait, this month. In the winter time, y'all <laughs> not y'all not that gangster. <laughs> y'all not that gangster to cancel that shit in the winter. And yeah, word. Chance definitely is gonna have something. Every time I turn this shit on, Netflix keeps trying to make me look at Coach Snoop. <laughs> Listen, I watched the whole series. That shit was. I heard that shit was good. Everybody was keeps telling me it's great, but yeah. I don't. I, wonder, I, I watch it in my time. Stop shoving Coach Snoop in my face. Yo, Snoop's amazing. <laughs> Every man. time I sign in, Snoop is amazing. Why is Snoop he's, coaching he's Snoop things? Franklin he's now. Put a, he just yeah, put out four fire gospel uh, records this week. Snoop is crazy. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> Yo, Salute he's, Snoop, man. He's done reggae, gospel, rap, R and B. Can we get electron. back? To, can we get back to Hurt Bay? Yes, I have to. Do, do you have Hurt Bay? I do. Let's play. I was in Hurt love with you. Bay. I wanted to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, pause this, pause this, pause it. Before this plays, why did she do this again? She's hurt again. Yo, bitches love to throw a uh, throw their new man in your face. <laughs> That's all women ever want to do. That's true. That's the only reason she's doing this, is to throw her new man in uh, Leonard's face. Do all light-skinned guys go to the same barber? Why does they all have that beard? You tell me. What are y'all talking (laughs) about? Because all light-skinned guys try to look alike. You tell me. Maul. Maul. Y'all do. No, we do not. All light-skinned guys try to look alike. No, we don't. Y'all smile the same. Y'all squint your eyes the same. Y'all wipe your face the same when you're sweating. (laughs) Y'all shoot, looks, the, y'all shoot the same way when you playing ball. He it's looks the same. like every, light skin niggas do the same thing. Every light skin nigga does the same thing. He don't look like every player on Duke that's not white. <laughs> he kind of does. <laughs> Maul, any light skin nigga on Fordham is Spanish. No, mm-hmm. not true. Come on, play this shit. Oh, come on with the music in the background. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me here? This is pretty dramatic. Broken is the title. Which one of them is broken though? Oh. Her. I've learned a lot from the video. I learned a lot this past year. Oh, I hate calling. when bitches <laughs> learn a lot. Learn. Yeah. They always learn some yeah, shit. Yeah, shut up. Why you didn't learn then? Learn a lot. And don't tell. Why do I have to care about what you learned right now? <laughs> My life did like a 180. I'm in a good place, taking care of myself, you know. Drinking more water, mm-hmm. exfoliating. That's word. Some light skin I like to, to learn my lessons the hard way. That's nah, light. I'm glad that light skin niggas love exfoliating. It's definitely changed both of our lives for the better. <laughs> Whatever they feel like they're looking I at me, they brown, more brown skin. I was they exfoliate a the brown. damsel in distress, and he was a villain. And it wasn't that cut and dry. Mm. We both are human. Oh, because we didn't know we were human. Yo, whoever whoever pulls out, I'm only human first in the breakup loses. You made, you made a whole song about it, bro. Yeah, but the song was hard. It was people hard. feel like they know the whole story of our relationship from watching a five minute video, which is just absurd, and you know, kind of makes me seem like a bad person, which I'm not. You're, You're not, not a bad person. You're not. Courtney was like one of the Wait, only that, people I could. That's always great too when. You shit on them in the breakup, but then they still like defend your honor. Yeah, still speak highly <laughs> no, of you. I know you're a good nah, person. you a good guy. And, you're then, a- and then you be in your head like, no, the <laughs> no, fuck I ain't. Wait, what about? <laughs> Clearly, this? you didn't learn anything. What about him as a good guy still after all of that? But whatever, fine, we'll roll with. Day two, there hasn't really been a video like this before. Yeah, you're like innovator. I used to read the comments and see all the fucked up shit people would say. Mm-hmm. Wish death on me. Being mm-hmm. judged by people that don't know me is Word. really, I don't take it Take personally. it from us. I'm a black man living <laughs> oh, in America, so oh my God. I've kind oh. of been judged Shut up, on Leonard. things outside of my character Come my on, whole get life. to the good shit. We don't give a fuck about by you being way, a black man in America. Anytime you screw up, you have to say it was out of your character to her. It's not even my character to move that way. Yeah, that's true. Brother Leonard got to get the that fuck that out of here. Wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> Brother Leonard got to get the fuck out of here. Why, you hating? No, I'm not hating. <laughs> he about to turn up. He about to turn up. cycle with me and Courtney might have continued. And part of the reason I did the video was so that I you can know, get more bitches. Courtney would be able to move on. So that I could move on. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait pause it. Pause it. Fellas. Fellas. <laughs> 
Don't you ever act like you're doing her a favor in the breakup. They hate that shit. They hate that. That don't ever compare her to another chill. Oh my God, that's gonna definitely be, don't do oh, that. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, this is more. I'll get back to you. Come on, play this. Dur, I didn't want to be with you. Did I? I don't know what why are you, you talking sit about? Here. <laughs> <laughs> here. When, when she starts repeating you all your shit. to do the video. Like a thought. You were not exclusive. I was not exclusive. I you exclusive. did your throw, throw a horn on that. Now. I did not do it. You're not even my girl. Did this to get exposure what? as a Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> he lied. This is important. <laughs> Worship him. Finally. Finally, someone tells the truth and comes clean. Finally, someone is fighting the good Never, fight for us. Ever, they weren't even together. Why is Flex still talking? They weren't because <laughs> they weren't together, Maul. She lied. And y'all lied. Like that. That's usually what happens. Women lie. Why did she think they were together? We will find out. You watch fucking 12 seasons of fucking Law and Order with somebody and they think you got a thing. That's wild. <laughs> That's like yo, who is like watching twelve? Episodes. You know how long twelve seasons of Law and Order is? I've definitely that's watched two years. Of Law. <laughs> yeah, you might be in a relationship. There. That's Hell two yeah. years. Are you fucking crazy. That's you how have a kid. That's how you get the. That's how you get the relationship started. Law and Order. What? Yeah, right. That's is like that what it's, sixty let's, hours? Let's watch some sexual assault. Get, get us. Get us in the mood. It doesn't have to be SVU. <laughs> But it could be. That's really, yeah. but it's really the best one. But it should yeah, be. I mean, <laughs> how on the edge do you want to live? <laughs> Press play, man. That's not true. It was obviously a setup for me because I was the one. Oh wait, pause that too. Let me let me let me say this because men, this this is a big problem too. Often, often at times, the right thing to do as a man in the breakup is to still protect the lady, still let her exit gracefully, like a lady. Keep the dirt, keep the secrets, you know, keep it to yourself. Leonard ain't give a fuck about none of that. He put that right on front street. This was your idea. You was trying to get hot. We both had <laughs> projects coming out. <laughs> you came up here. We dropped the SoundCloud link. And she's and she's fronting. Who do you believe? Who do you believe? Who do you believe? I'm rolling with Leonard. I think I might be on Leonard's side. Me here. too. Let's go. I asked you to do it so we could talk about things because... We never talked about things. Oh, because you oh, can't do please. that without a camera. Oh, please. She's only, having, oh, please. To, she's only talk. having to talk now because her new nigga fucked up, and now she's realizing that problems come with everybody. So but wait, see, that's 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 where I just get a little confused. Where is the new nigga? <laughs> what, I want what, to get to that at the end. What are his thoughts? Because I want to hear Maul's thoughts on would you let your girl go do this video with her ex? <laughs> <laughs> Let her go do a video with her ex. <laughs> Let her anything. Let her anything. <laughs> yeah, right. She can't? Fuck no. Why? Why does she need to be doing anything with her ex? Closure. Closure, huh? It's going to be closure, too. <laughs> I close that right eye. <laughs> Let me close her. <laughs> we cl close his right eye. Us being together. We were never together. Never, mom. This is what happened. This is what went this down. Is, you came through. Shut up. Shut up. See, look, he can't even talk now. Shut up. He can't even get a word in. Shut up. He's trying to tell you the truth. That's just her buying more time. And now she's walking away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's trying to gather her yeah, thoughts. Well, I hate it. That's just buying time. I just don't like to be He's still drinking more water. Look, now she's telling all the business to somebody on the side. I, I hate when people do that. Keep our business between probably us. Probably her single friend. <laughs> Come get some truth. <laughs> Come get some truth. I like that. Come get some truth. <laughs> hmm? You're tripping. Sit down. Don't tell me what to do. You're tripping. What are you doing? Like, what are you, what is Yeah, it? the you, truth. You throw things out there like that yes. without adding context to make me look mm. like a bad person. Mm. That's all like Always got to use the word like context. Like Says you're her crying be Says her because bae. you said cruel things to me. You cheated on me. You put me through hell. Oh, come on. I don't care about it. Let's, I let's get to talk to some good stuff. It's over with. You're not Ooh, on wait. my team. Wait. When I show up on my team. To hell with him! I said he's not a bad person multiple you know that times. I'm not. Saying he's not a bad person is not saying, oh, he told me that he didn't want to be in a relationship. You never said that. Never. You didn't say that. Wow. So why didn't you say this last time? Because why didn't you tell me hey, last time we were here? Do, is this do we? Do, did we ever get confirmation if this was real or not the first time? Because I think there was a rumor that they was playing with niggas, and they were I just doing this for uh, what are, what are the new kids called? The clout, the clout. <laughs> I don't think it's real. You know, right? Is anything real? Mm. 
Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. You can't sit that. You can't sit that close to a, a hurt female and not get slapped in your face. Especially say crazy shit like he said. Yeah, no, that's not real. No, she's not going to hit him. She looked like she's from Woodbridge, New Jersey or something. She don't look like she come from the place where women will hit a nigga. Yeah, okay. I think I've been hit by a girl from Woodbridge. You were never my girlfriend. I never cheated on you. And now you're saying all of this. Like, what are you talking about? Because we came here to get on. <laughs> that's not the case. That was we never came the here case. to get on? It was yeah. always the case. See? That is what happened, man. But I had feelings for you, oh, and please. I wanted to know what was going on. Yeah, we yeah, got to stop that. that stop this. Stop. Women got to stop with I had feelings for you after a week. <laughs> no, nah, a one week in rules are still in play if we got a weekend. They don't change just because you have feelings now. So when do feelings kick in? After Not week? after a fucking, it's got to be after the fourth season. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth season? Four yeah. Seasons in? Yeah, four seasons in, maybe you can have some feelings. Not a weekend. Got you. No? I agree. I hate talking to you about feelings. A week is way too early. Why you hate talking to me about anything too crazy. like any of this? Well, I have feelings after a week. You're just horny. I love those two week I'm in love relationships and then it's over. It depends on how good those she looks. Those are fire. It depends on what? How good she looks. So if Cash Doll wanted to do one of these <laughs> videos with you. One of those videos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool, but you, but you would have feelings after a week. What well, cash though? He got yeah. feelings now. I got feelings right now. <laughs> yeah, word. It's hey, he's been following for like two weeks. Yes, yeah. I got to put out that that footage I got of uh, you speed dating at the pool party last summer. Yeah, what happened to that shit? Why? Because it's funny. Still. I, I want to see it. <laughs> like, we didn't do. We got to do that again. We got to do that right though. We got. Well, that, it was cool though. This, it was that this, was cool. This summer we'll do it the correct way. Yeah, we got last right. summer that was complex doing some complexy shit. This yeah. summer we'll do it right because that was a good idea. It was a great idea, but but what needs to be done more? Like more girls, more people. Yeah, more people. More well, the, quest, the questions lyric gave us were horrible. We had to freestyle that whole shit. Yeah, it was like, what's your favorite color? And then I don't I don't hand me it, no so questions. How many abortions have you had? Don't hand me no <laughs> questions. Then let me just kick it off the cuff. Yeah, because that's what you see when niggas when niggas is at. Some niggas can't hold conversations. That's true. I'm gonna film this. Yeah, some niggas can't hold conversation. I noticed that a lot. A lot of dudes do not know how to hold conversations with women. Especially if they're just like right there, just them two. A lot of niggas can't can't flourish in that. He has a point. Do we have closing thoughts on on Hurt Bay being lying bay? Listen, man. It's always always another side to the story. It's not always the women being a victim. You need to stand up for, for menimism. These chicks be lying. You all right, Rory? Everything Promise. good at home? <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Everything yeah. good at home, Rory? Yeah, in the home front? It's going it's to be Hurt Bay 3 oh, man. next week. Oh, Jesus. I just want to know what the new man has to say about this. That's, that's really all. Well, even after you let her go and then watch this and clearly see that she's still in love with this dude, what are you, what are you doing that with night? With Leonard? Yeah. She's Leonard crying at the end of the Leonard can still hit. He probably hit that night. Yeah, he could still hit. Yeah, but that, that's you're supposed to still be able to hit your exes. <laughs> Shit, not, not if I'm the new nigga. If I'm the new nigga and you still hitting your ex, then I'm the old nigga. You never had exes you still wanted to hit? That's a meme. That I still wanted to hit? Yeah. Yeah. But a, not a new girl that wanted to hit her ex. Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about now. You had exes you still felt like you could hit even while they were in the new relationship. Yeah. Not saying it happened. I'm saying like we actually. Well, you wouldn't want to say that in a public forum. The no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, no, but it didn't though. It I, didn't happen. No, I understand. I feel no, you. It didn't happen. I didn't say nothing, <laughs> boy. Why, why you keep repeating yourself? No, it didn't happen. No, no. All right, that's fine, my brother. Okay. <laughs> my brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, my brother. Yeah, once you got to pull my brother out, just <laughs> smooth exit. All right, uh, Rory has some breaking news, and I'm too much of a. I don't think this is breaking. I think we're a few days uh, late. Oh but. no, I'm just afraid. <laughs> worried, worried. You read this one. <laughs> All right, Rory's tricked me into reading this. All right, I'm in Houston more than you, so <laughs> I'm just trying to stay neutral. Jay Prince Senior says, "I always had respect for the two brothers, Ronald and Brian Williams, hustle, because anyone who is successful in this music business earns the respect. I'm glad to have been an inspiration to them." But you witnessed the words that came out of his mouth, and I quote, his family is my family. You got to understand that's where Drake comes into play. 
That came from Jay. Nobody knows that. The J that really deserves that respect and to be paid is my son at Jazz Prince. Jazz, what up? I said that. <laughs> he just <laughs> said what up to his son mid. Yeah, I didn't mid, want him to think that his dad was saying it. Uh, he discovered Drake. It says at Champagne Poppy, but I always feel uncomfortable saying Champagne Poppy. <laughs> He's the only one that could get away with that name. Yeah. <laughs> You have a lot of money to have a name like Champagne Poppy. Anyway, I've never been a man to use the word family loosely because I believe life and death is in the power of the tongue. Let me just pause. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to pause. <laughs> I also walk in great respect for the universal laws, one being cause and effect, simply meaning you reap what you sow. With that being said, I say to this man they call at Birdman, don't forget we don't forget you have children, and I know you wouldn't want them to reap the seeds you have sown by doing bad business. This is the truth, raw and uncut. This is how you earn quote respect on your name. If you can relate to this truth, mention Birdman and post hashtag Real Talk. And that was the end of that. I'm gonna be honest with you, gentlemen. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm super shook. I'm, I'm cool. I am a little nervous. I have nothing even to being add. had having read that. Uh, don't know how much commentary I'm going to provide on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero to add. <laughs> I mean, what I will he's say is a lot scarier than a lawyer. What I will yeah. say is, isn't it gr great how you could just say things though, like without really saying things? Or, uh, <laughs> You can add in, don't forget you have children. And, Yo, dog. No. And, and I would read that terrified. I mean, <laughs> any nigga that comes up to me and just starts talking about the universal laws, I'm trying to get away from <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stop joking about this shit altogether because he didn't sound like he was joking. But, uh, well, we know he's not joking. What is the end goal here? We've been hearing about this story for a long time. We all know that Jazz Prince found uh, Drake. Right. We all know that. Uh, we all know they've been in court about it, and we all know that Birdman ain't paid. So I guess here we are. I guess some of us always wondered when it would come to this. Yeah. Which is, why don't you just tell your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand why how how people just don't understand doing good business. Just pay somebody what you owe them. Right. Like the, I, to the me, music that's business the simplest. Is Go ahead. But but people make the music business fucked up. I know that's what I'm saying. Because it's the it's, dumbest it's, shit in the world. I don't hear about. I mean, I may not be looking for it, but I don't hear about country artists going through this. Right. I don't hear about jazz. Uh, well, you know, back in the day, a lot of jazz artists got fucked. But, you know what I mean? It's other genres of music where you don't... It only seems like it's in hip-hop. Where, like, cats do... And a lot of these dudes come from the streets where it's like, if you do dirty business in the streets, there's repercussions of that. Yep. So it's like, how can you now come into the music business and decide to do dirty business in, in music without expecting repercussions in that? Now, nah, them That's country exactly. niggas getting jerked too, man. They, they had, I don't know that, but I mean, once I see Michael Bolton doing fucking sprints across the TV in an Old Spice commercial, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming the times are hard. It's just, <laughs> no, I agree. It's not that times is hard. It's just a, it's a check. I love Michael Bolton, by the way. And Michael Bolton Thanks. is in country. Yeah, it's not country at all. Yeah. No, no, yeah. it's, 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 it's just not country <laughs> music, bro. <laughs> you can't just That's throw country, him in like sleep beyond yeah. this country. Like, yeah, it's like not. no, it's not. It's not the same. Bro. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not country music. Michael Bolton is definitely not country. Michael Bolton has one hundred percent rode a horse with hair down to his back. So has Jermaine Dupri and, and Jay Z and Money Jermaine Ain't a Thing. Jermaine Dupri never rode a horse with hair down on his back. What are the you girl talking that was, about? The girl he was that racing was had Janet. hair down her block. <laughs> with that hair hair down her back. Why do you even have that video memorized to a T? It's like, money ain't a thing. Like, money ain't a thing? I don't have the that whole, What horse? The, I don't they remember was, the horse. Was, yeah, what is he talking back. about? They was racing for money. <laughs> Not no horse. It was, no, it was Jermaine Dupree and the girl that Jay, that Jay had. You are weird for knowing this. It's a dope video. What you mean? He Word. was there also. Yeah, he shot the video. <laughs> Word. He's little X. He was on the other horse. I was, I was on the other horse. <laughs> little, little M. <laughs> little M. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga I'm all dying to direct something. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, anyways, what was, what was we talking about just now before I got sidetracked? Doing I, I felt like something important. Oh, yeah, you were making an important point before we started acting silly. Yeah. The music business is dirty. Only because <laughs> people make it dirty. That's true. It doesn't need to be dirty. Yeah, people people in music business make it dirty. You know what it is? It's all. It's usually, not always, It's a lot of times it's the middlemen that don't, that don't do anything. 
that fuck everything up. It's not only that though. It's 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 a lot of these artists come into the game. They don't really know the business, and people see a way where they can get over and make and take money that's not theirs. I mean that's true too. Oh, y'all that's kick, all it is. Y'all knowledge. Well, we got to keep some knowledge every now and again. And the cycle keep going because artists get jerked and then figure the system out. And then, right. oh, well, let me go jerk Yeah, someone. let me go jerk <laughs> someone else. Yeah, exactly. This, that was or easy. Damn, I had to pay my manager way too much money. Let me uh, jerk the producer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the fuck? And then the producer then says, let me jerk the engineer. Right. Yeah, that's how it goes. Look at Rory telling us about the cycle. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me my noise. Yeah, he needs a round of applause for... Jumping in with, then the cycle continues. Like, Shut up. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. Yeah. It's, a vicious, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah. <laughs> vicious. It is a vicious cycle. A he did say vicious, vicious cycle. He did. <laughs> I heard it. And nobody stopped. Y'all just kept going. Y'all didn't want to fuck his groove up. <laughs> the niggas feel like he bodying it when he say vicious cycle. Vicious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when you put the word vicious, vicious in your conversation, or, yeah. you mean that shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bad, uh, I don't see how the music business can exist without doing bad business. I'll be honest with y'all. No. I mean, it could. Uh, it's, obviously, how? it does. How? How can the music business exist without doing bad business? Yeah. Because There's enough there, money. There, there are a lot of artists that don't have bad business in their careers that are very successful. That's true, too. So that proves that you can have a music business without it being fucked up. Sidebar, because I don't, I don't, I don't care enough about this. But every time we start talking about niggas being broke or the music business or some shit, I go back to whoever that was that tweeted how TLC was broke as hell, calling us broke on no scrubs. <laughs> 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 I, no, I think they got their money by then, though. No, no, no scrubs. No, no, no. 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 I, when did they get their money? I, I saw the VH1 movie. I'm broke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought they had their money. Low mama it. broke it down for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought they had their money by then. No, uh, no they didn't. Yeah, but they, oh, that, terrible. Damn, so that's, uh, who that, TLC got jerked. Uh, everybody. everybody. Don't, don't start yeah, naming it. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody got jerked. But you know what, I guess this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. Getting jerked if you only go gold or something. <laughs> TLC so mad, right? I mean, that's true though. That's, yeah, but no, but yeah, but that's a lot of records to get fam. jerked on. Yeah, uh, you, I grossed a hundred million. I got one. Yeah, no, <laughs> there's way too that's much crazy. of a disconnect somewhere. That's crazy. How did you miss nine hundred million? <laughs> right, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a little nuts. But all right, fine. Y'all want to talk when Shug uh, Shug was giving death row people like allowance, like Snoop would get an allowance per month. They, all the good labels did that. Dog. Chess you jerking records, somebody if, if you're getting a fucking allowance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me my percentage. Right, nah. Sorry. Did you guys watch the um, Shook, Shook Knight Death Row Chronicles what? that aired on BET? That aired tonight <laughs> that we couldn't have watched? No. It didn't air already? It airs tonight, I think. Get out of it, town. It being the 27th. I'm tired of the Death Row Story, oh, how many how many Tupac and Biggie documentaries yeah. and shit? I mean, with all these shit. documentaries and all this shit and all this information, we still don't know what happened, right? No, like, yes, come we on, do. Man. Yeah, it's someone, someone. No, else. we know no, what happened. I accidentally actually Quincy broke it down, right? Oh no, that was Jeff. That was Jeff. Okay. <laughs> Listen, if Quincy know what happens, <laughs> Quincy definitely know what happens. If I'm Quincy knows. Jones knows what happens to Tupac and Biggie, he definitely. Listen, knows. man, I'm not coming outside no more. Man. Savon, pull up the uh, Quincy Jones apology. I have the Quincy Jones apology. It says, a couple weekends ago, my six, uh, yeah, a couple weekends ago, my six daughters, who I'm beyond proud of, took me aside to do a surprise family intervention. <laughs> what intervention is not a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Planned intervention. Why would, hey, Quincy, I could have told you the family intervention was coming after that interview. You was the only nigga surprised. But anyway, because of some silly things I've said in two recent interviews, and I have learned my lesson. Let me tell you, I am so grateful for my daughters because they aren't scared to stand up to their daddy. I am an imperfect human. Oh my God, not more, <laughs> not, not more of this imperfect human shit. And, I am an, and learning. I am an imperfect human, and this is a vicious cycle. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, more. That was way funnier than. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh, I am an imperfect human, and I am not afraid to say it. I am sorry, and I am not afraid to say it. Oh, he repeated it. He then goes on to say, 
When you've been fortunate enough to have lived such a long and crazy life and you recently stopped drinking three years ago, certain details about specific events which do not paint the full picture of my intentions nor experiences come flooding back all at once. And even at 85, it's apparent that word vomit and bad mouthing is inexcusable. One of the hardest things about this situation is that, uh... Bad mouthing has contradicted the very real messages I tried to relay about racism, inequality, homophobia, and poverty. You name it. And of course I don't want that. I've already reached out to my friends privately, but when you live a public life, you have a responsibility to be an example. And since I do lead a public life, I wanted to make a very public apology. All right, I don't want to read the rest of this shit. He did not want to say he was not telling the truth. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> At no Actually, point, at no point in this apology did he say, "Yo, some of the shit I said, well, I was flat out lying, and it wasn't true, and I was freestyling." Yeah, he just said he's more so sound like he's just, you know, D- didn't mean to say it. He didn't put, yeah. put it out there like that. I like that. that he called it silly too. He called the assassination of JFK <laughs> silly. A word. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that, but yeah. You listen to Brazilian music. <laughs> Do you listen to Brazil? That was the genuine part. <laughs> what he was really trying to get across. That was the point. <laughs> oh, wait. The last part is the apology. I'm sorry to anyone who my words uh, offended, and I'm especially sorry to my friends like who are Kennedys. still here with me <laughs> and to those who aren't. Man, you know you fucked up when you got to apologize to like Tombstone. <laughs> to, to dead people. <laughs> Uh, these friends are like blood family to me. To my dear family and friends, thank you for your grace. Thank you for calling me out when I've clearly made a mistake. Many mistakes. All right, whatever. Quincy definitely didn't type that. Or text Hell, or tweet that or text or whatever. Quincy was telling the fucking truth about niggas. <laughs> that was just that was just publicist. You can't get out there and tell too much truth. How do you think that intervention went? Dad, <laughs> dad, dad, give me your phone. <laughs> dad, give me your phone. You're fucking tripping. And the other phone. Yeah. <laughs> the one in your ankle. Give me that. Mm. Oh, there was something else I wanted to read. I almost thought about starting a new segment on this show titled uh if you don't have anything nice to say. But uh, I didn't know if I Then could. we wouldn't have a podcast. <laughs> well, no. My first contestant on this segment, or my first star of this segment, was going to be Matt Barnes's ex. Uh, did you see, hear about their exchange? I did not. Can't wait to read, a, read it to you. <laughs> well, oh, so the, the pun of it all was she probably should have just left well, well enough alone. Matt, see, and I and I relate to this because Matt was trying to do some fly shit. You know, you know, you you want to be respectable to somebody you maybe had some beef with or some domestic issues back in the day. Sure, not me, but they they did. Right, apparently. So it was a birthday. Sent a nice <laughs> little, you know what I mean, nice little Instagram tweet. So Matt Barnes said to his uh child's mother, "I wish that baby was mine." No, <laughs> Jason Derulo challenge. He said. I want to wish the mother of my children a very happy birthday. Hope this day is everything you hoped for and more. Although things have been rocky, to say the least. Oh, that's when some real shit was going down. When you got to mention the rocky part. Although things have been rocky, to say the least. The last four years, I hope that for the sake of our two beautiful baby boys, we can come together and co-parent them to the best of our abilities. No more games. No more bullshit. They need both our love and support equally. We lead very different lives now, but we're still on the same team. Anyways, cheers to your day. Peace, love, and happiness. Round of applause. Hey, whenever people with money that's like well off say things were rocky in a relationship, (laughs) all they told me about is somebody was cheating. What else could they be talking about? We didn't have money for the rent. We got evicted. <laughs> Couldn't pay the car note. No, nah, that mean you you pushed her and she fell harder than you planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that too. <laughs> that too. You don't throw out the word Rocky yeah. unless some stumbling was going on. <laughs> <laughs> when never some got knocked over. <laughs> yes, to get an ad. The lamp definitely had to break. Yeah, that's somehow. A, that's a fact. Uh, that, there's no more mirrors in that house. So, so what I'm saying is, wasn't that a very nice, sweet birthday message to like your ex? <laughs> yeah. No way to fuck that up. Yeah, he was sincere. And here she comes. Let me tell you what she said. Okay. <laughs> she said, LMAO. That's what she said. <laughs> off the rip? Why are you laughing your ass off off the rip? 
I was being sincere. Let's <laughs> talk about co parenting. Yeah, women Dude, are spi- Oh, she kept it spicy. LMAO. Yeah, off the rip. Don't LMAO off the rip. Yeah, no. Nah. You got to say Word. something else. Maybe a LOL at the end. Yeah. She starts with LMAO at Matt Barnes. <laughs> Thank you. I think? Question mark. And yes, one can only continue to pray that you take your own advice and learn to peacefully co-parent. But until then, I'll see you in court next week. Shrugs, because you love a frivolous lawsuit. But hey, let's keep co-parenting. Uh, <laughs> Eye-rolling emoji. Why she got to put the court date Damn. out there, though? That was kind of soft. I'll see you that, next that week in court. court. <laughs> that was kind of... No, how are you? I don't even want people knowing I got court next yeah. week. Why are you putting that out there? How are you doing on your birthday? Why are you not at brunch? Would you like to hear what Matt Barnes replied? <laughs> Wait, he replied? Yeah. Oh, are, you, are you fucking kidding me? They didn't take this to the text after <laughs> you, that? You wouldn't reply to that? <laughs> I'm, going to the phone. I'm going directly to the number after this. Three. I'm not putting this up you on know social funny? media. Now that you say that, nobody ever takes it to the text. That's crazy to me. I'm not... Like, if I could... First of all, nah, I would have wished her a happy birthday nah, on the text. The first, I wouldn't even nah, do that. The first picture. nigga to take it to the text lost. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. Hey, we're better than this. That's a fact. Yeah, we are, but fuck that. <laughs> All right. Well, here's what he said. And this is why you should just leave shit alone sometimes. This is his, let me start with I love you. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. God. He said, well, <laughs> ellipses. Is, is it ellipses? Ellipsis. Uh, ellipsis. He said, well, well, let me just say dot, dot, dot. Well, stealing money, my social security number, and forging my signature to buy your parents' nightclub and house it's pretty serious. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> but hey, I tried. See you in court. Oh, and happy birthday. The double, the double happy <laughs> birthday. Double happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, he was mad. Yeah. She called that a frivolous lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. It's, it's, it's a, a vicious, vicious cycle. Vicious cycle. Nah, vicious no, 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 no. You, but this is a, that is a vicious cycle. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is a vicious. Women never say what the fuck they did mm-hmm. or their part. Of course part. not. <laughs> They bought, she bought a house and, and a nightclub club. with my bread. That's crazy. Yeah, with my chicken? You got to buy a nightclub with the house, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no house is complete That's without a nightclub. You're right. Mess up the living room. Would you be mad about that? I mean, the, the yeah, that's not a couch or like a car, even. You buy a nightclub. You bought a my nightclub. Money. And a crib. <laughs> the fucked up part, you ain't even buy it for you or the kids. You just bought it for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, is a nightclub dope? That's a, that's a that good would, question. That would change a that's, lot. That's valid. If that's Man, like a spot I want to go. That nightclub will have major plumbing issues once I find out where it's at. <laughs> Speaking of plumbing. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, hold up, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, yo, pause, pause. Wait. Pause. No, 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 no. no. We're not, we not doing that. Go back. Go back, go back Pogs. Go back. We're not, we not doing that. No, 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 no. That's not how we segue into that. Segway. No, 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 no. We can't do that. We can't do that. Where, where were you segueing in? Where were you segueing to? Go ahead. Go ahead. You, I got to hear this. I got to hear this. I don't. Let me, no, no, no. I don't. Because I want to hear how he going to clean this up. What were you segueing to? Now, where you going? Now you want to smoke. Now you want to smoke. I was trying to segue into uh, Tisha Campbell's divorce from (laughs) Dwayne Campbell and uh, their restaurant that they own together in Los Angeles made me think of that. Uh, I forgot why why that came to my mind, but that's what I was segueing to, Maul. Okay. But since you since you since you bring it up, (laughs) no no no, (laughs) since you brought it up, right? (laughs) Yo, all right. This is where y'all about to get extra silly. This was your A topic in, in pre production meeting. <laughs> this is all you wanted to This is what you came here for. That's what you came here for is crazy. <laughs> That's his man's. Oh, That's okay. his man's. I think it was I think That's, That's not your that. man's? Barks, barks, That's your guy. Barks, 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 oh. No. That's not your guy? No. All right. Now you don't, not you don't his visit his, uh, his home? All right. Uh, yeah, I've been in that building. Okay. Just had lunch together. Yeah, we did have lunch together. I know. He was just at the show, too. Uh, yep. You pay. And you pay. Hey, yo, pause. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Talk to me, man. What's, your, <laughs> what's going on, man? You all right? Everything cool? Yo, you know what's funny about y'all? What's funny about us? I thought that I would come in here, right, and make a whole bunch of safari jokes to make y'all uncomfortable. I didn't I didn't foresee y'all reversing the joke <laughs> on course. me. Of course. 
We have that's your. Because I forgot we did. My memory's bad. I forgot we just went to lunch. That's your guy. <sighs> so. <laughs> How do you guys want to cover this, boss? <laughs> Listen, boss. I, I don't want to cover this. <laughs> yeah, this is all you. Take it away, Joe. <laughs> all right, well, what I, what I will say is, all right, let's do, get my this, love. This is the Joe Button podcast. Was this Not a case of Mendeecees <laughs> having his cake and eating it too? Now, because when he wasn't with Yandy, <laughs> so was he with Eric? <laughs> was it with Eric? <laughs> the wrong one. Back with Yandy. Because if both women carried to term, mm. the pregnancies would Wait, have some. Can't even make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> can't, do, can't do nothing on this topic. Off. I'm out of this. Uh, yeah, I don't want to wear headphones during this topic either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Safari leaked his own dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Safari leaked his own dick. I'm assuming to promo uh, the Paradise remix. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's a sick ass marketing. The rollout is crazy. <laughs> so, so I have some questions. <laughs> is that a good rollout? <sighs> <laughs> when, is, when is when is this uh this um I just, song, I just record saw out? the Paradise remix link on Instagram today. Like I thought that was just a love and hip hop thing. This nigga really put. That song out with all them niggas. <laughs> and he's selling it. <sighs> well, the music industry is, really is it all a vicious listen, cycle. Man. I got nothing. It's, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> Way too vicious. Pause. Oh, all right. So let's, so, so let's, so let's, let's address this here. We don't have to. I, what I will say is, <laughs> What do you say about this? I know one thing. If this nigga, if this record don't sell, <laughs> what he gonna do next? Sin try to bring it up all cool. <laughs> <laughs> you see a man wilding? No, that's nasty. Hey, let me tell. So, so wait, but here's but but here's the funny story. So this is where my mind goes. Because I, I, I'm obsessive. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Pause to say you're obsessive during this topic. <laughs> but what I'm saying is a topic that often comes up on this podcast is, you know, how niggas act when uh, how niggas with money act, uh, how women act toward men with money, how men with money act toward men with less money. You know, that's a that's a reoccurring theme here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I'd say so. <laughs> And maybe it's just because I've been on this Wakanda thing here. Pause. Pause Wakanda? It sounds too much like Anaconda. Black Panther? Yeah, oh, come on. Pause you for <laughs> thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with this whole conversation. Nah, that nigga got the Anaconda from Wakanda, my nigga. That's yeah. a little. But what I'm saying is, and back in the day, like, when the first earth, earthlings and humans were around and everybody just had to walk around butt ass. Yeah, where are you going with this, bro? <laughs> What I'm saying is, which do you think, do you think that that would be worse, the effect that we see today with men and money, like the gender, the gender wars that exist about money? Do you think those wars would be different if you take the money away and everybody just walked around butt ass? That's my first question. I'm We're, scared of the yeah, second question because yeah. that first question has me all the way fucked up. I don't even know what you're trying to ask me. Well, question number two, I was really just going to tell a, a, a funny story that I've never told before. <laughs> okay. And this was a really long time ago. But I mean, you can just never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Wait, where are you going yeah. with this? <laughs> so four score and many years ago. Dill, is your man? This is when, <laughs> well, it's funny you mentioned Dill. He's in the story. Dill's in the story. <laughs> we were, I think I was living in Hackensack, New Jersey. I didn't have any furniture in the crib. It was one of those, you know, Dill and Heist were with me. Like, we all lived there. It was one of those, you just order strippers from the dollhouse every weekend <laughs> and bring them by for the weekend shenanigans, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one weekend, it was me, Dill, who's like 6'3". Heist is about 6'5", and his name is Heist, so you can imagine the type of gentleman he is. <laughs> and let's make up a name for the other gentleman that, that was with us, Antoine. Let's call him Antoine. Antoine looked and moved a little on the feminine side. Okay. 
We thought Ant- Antoine, well, I let me speak for me. I thought Antoine was in the closet. I thought he was a gay dude, but like he just wasn't telling people. Okay. But you know, this is what my young brain thought. I thought he was in the closet, but he was hanging out with the guys. <laughs> You know, like the, you know, we about to have some strippers come over, so he about to, you know, so I'm kind of pushing, pushing them to the edge, like, yeah, they coming tonight, nigga. <laughs> come out the closet, <laughs> man, immature, right? But they it, coming tonight. Yeah, come out the closet. <laughs> but Antoine ain't saying a word. He's just kind of rolling with the punches. Anyway, fast forward. Nighttime comes. I don't even know how these stripper hoes got to the crib, but somehow we had about maybe. Seven, eight, or nine strippers come through the crib for some late night shenanigans. Mm. Me, Dill, Heist, and Antoine. Mm. All of the strippers were laughing at Antoine. They were ridiculing him because he didn't look like he was attracted to women. Mm. The joke was on Antoine for <laughs> at least three hours. <laughs> like, I felt bad. Get like, a joke done by a stripper, gotta hurt your ego, too. <clears throat> Like they, this sub- nigga, they, they supposed to pretend to be nice to you? But Antoine right. is the nicest him. guy in the world. Never hurt a soul. Never said nothing bad. Ain't even judging you hoes for being here and collecting money dancing. He chilling. <laughs> he ain't even judging y'all, right? right? I guess three hours passed and Diamond had enough. Diamond said, come here, gay boy. <laughs> she said that? Something to that effect. Come here, let me take your little gay friend in the back room, see what's good with him. So we all laughing. The strippers is pointing and laughing. And, ah, bye, Antoine. See you, Diamond, about to rock your world. So then Diamond and Antoine go in the back room. And five minutes go by. And then ten minutes go by. The bitch Diamond don't come back out. <laughs> So now the other strippers out here, if me Dylan Heist trying to get wild, they're like, oh, what diamond is? She good? She okay? You know, strippers got to check on their friends. Mm-hmm. Two more strippers go in the back. They don't come out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now just like five strippers left in the living room. Me Dylan, like, hey, what the fuck is going on? I said, all right, enough is enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to see what the hell. Because the stripper I want is in there, right. this nigga. He ain't doing shit. Man, I had to go in there and kick the door in. This nigga dick was to the ground. Like three <laughs> three bitches, three bitches stuck in this nigga. Dick. Oh, pause. Oh, no. I ran out that room so fast. What? You gotta you gotta slow I'm you get, telling you what happened. Like you can't just throw that so out. I'm like, telling you what happened. Either. I wanna know. I how, kicked how the you door went. in and them three chicks. All together was on fucking Antoine. How did you relay this info to do? I in the other room. I did. <laughs> well, you ran out and did what? I said they all in there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie, Antoine, big big as hell." <laughs> Yo, we got sleepers. <laughs> do we have sleepers? This is over. God damn. This podcast is a wrap. All I'm saying is... Episode 151 is now over with. You just can't judge people. (laughs) That nigga Antoine was not for the game. We got it. We got it. All right. All right. We understand. Cool. We got it. We got it. I never spoke to him again. (laughs) I never never invited a bitch around that nigga. I never called him. It was over. (laughs) Oh. Yo, dude, this your man? <laughs> <laughs> this your man. I'm saying that's just what happened, man. Listen, I never told anybody that story, <laughs> but that's that's but what now all y'all gotta hear. It. I never even spoke to the strippers anymore after that. <laughs> the fucked up shit is I was paying the strippers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. I think Fuck that's it. the part that y'all missing. I was paying for strippers and all of them in there to sucking this nigga dick. Yeah. Joke on you. That's all I got, man. <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> trip down memory lane, Joe. All right. So anyway, back to homeboy, though. And we're not staying here long. But I didn't know that dick pics were still a thing, number one. You bugging. I just didn't know. I thought it was like phone sex. I thought it was over. No, there's still no, phone sex that believe in the art. now. What are you saying? Phone sex is advanced now. It's FaceTime sex. Yeah, but they don't call that uh, phone sex, though. Nah, it's still considered phone sex. You want a phone. You know, part of the dope shit about phone sex was you had to use your imagination, though. <clears throat> These chicks get on FaceTime next to that. 
Nah, FaceTime sex is way better than phone sex, bro. Oh, I wasn't comparing the two. Oh, okay. I was just saying the difference. FaceTime sex is cool, but you, 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 y- y'all both got to have good service, man. I mean, that's true. Because <laughs> if that shit start lagging and pause that's at the wrong sir. moment. That shit is the worst. Looks like that's like year. watching porn with bad Wi-Fi. Yeah, and yeah it's when it gets like, all pixelated and yeah, shit. Yeah, then you like, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hit her with the double yo and she don't hear nothing. <laughs> and then you call back and she don't answer. Now you there with the... With the sticky hand, she went and finished. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, no, that is the worst. I don't understand why chicks even attempt to get the FaceTime sex popping on 5%. Yeah. <laughs> man, bitch, go plug that phone in. <laughs> if you don't go find your charger somewhere. Well, go get your laptop. I'm on fucking Torpedo. Right. <laughs> Torpedo <laughs> fucking Torpedo Hard as ever You tell me about your battery Bitch <laughs> yes. But that was back in the day I don't live live like that Anymore But why did we Why did I bring up phone sex anyway Cause you were saying Oh you didn't cause, know that. cause that was still uh, I didn't know that was still a thing Oh wait But alright This is my last dick topic I swear I swear to God Thank you I, I swear Cause I'm uncomfortable too man I am too I don't make the news I know <laughs> <laughs> Uh Black China. First of all, Lisa Bloom is now hired in in the Black China case. We knew that was going to happen, so it Thank happened. God. I just want to report that justice but, will be served. And this is my question, I guess, for Rory, because <laughs> anytime I need proper understanding of how the new kids are thinking, I turn to Rory. Rory, <laughs> yes. Um, Michi <laughs> says that that is his private. In the Black China video, mm-hmm. Cardi Playboy Cardi is saying the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas are weird. <laughs> like niggas is really weird, yo. Niggas, these, these niggas. Is so really weird. my question becomes: I one, I don't want to find out. Well, no, who's, like, and I don't want to know how they're gonna prove it. Is is this the new age? Lying on your dick <laughs> Are they taking this thing Way too far Did they exchange Back and forth In an argument This is all Creepy and weird First of all Arguing with a dude About <laughs> it being your dick In a sex video Is crazy Well no see, Well wait Maul. See that's the thing uh, With Snapchat And, and Instasnap now you can just write In your phone And put it out You don't have to be Directly speaking to somebody Just write some shit And that's it so these niggas are writing on snaps and just putting it out. <laughs> yeah, but like, yo, that's my dick, son. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you buggy. You know that's my shit. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know how that battle happens. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Even, but, I mean, even if it was me, I wouldn't be jumping out there to say that was me. I would kind of be like, oh, damn, that's crazy. And just leave it alone. Like, I, that's just me, though. I'm just, Dave, I'm not if, looking for that pub. Like, What if it's neither of them? That's, <laughs> even, more, that's even crazier. <laughs> Is Dick Gate just more people are gonna start coming out like when serial killers? I ain't gonna lie, back in the day, <laughs> and it just and I'm getting off this topic just what, what Antoine did, bro, I, just because I'm remembering how stupid I was back in the day. But <laughs> this is before the camera phone got so ill. Like I had one pic that I really thought was pretty cool. Like that was the one I was sending. <laughs> that was the That's one go to. I that, this is before I knew that the the dates was on it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch hit me back and said, oh, "Man, why are you sending me two years dick for two years ago?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Oh, uh, uh. That's, nah, that's, you just gotta be like, it's, it's fine. It's the same one. <laughs> it don't look any different today it than didn't it did. Change. Yeah, it did. <laughs> two years ago, it was the same one." Um, then Playboy Cardi said, "Nah, it's mine." <laughs> yo, I'm getting off of this shit. <laughs> All right, so why is why is Big Sean making announcements? I, I have no idea. <laughs> no, I'm not even trying. I'm not trying to be funny. Why is Big Sean make, he can't make an announcement? No, of course he can make an announcement. I'm just saying, what led up to, what well, what led to this? Sean was doing that concert where you could vote and like make the the set list. So he was gonna do like all his old mixtape shit or whatever. So it wouldn't be like an album tour, which seemed like a really good idea to me. But he tweeted today, uh, "I've been in a deep creative space and decided I need to stay focused in the studio. So unfortunately, I'm postponing my upcoming tour." I learned in life, you have to follow your intuition. I hope you do the same. Thank you for your continued love and support. It means the world to me. So I went and asked Raven, who's, who's friends with that camp, who's my friend, and she wouldn't tell me the real story. <laughs> Way to go, Raven, for being a real friend. I hate when niggas are loyal to their friends. <laughs> uh, so you canceled the tour? Postponed. Postponed. 
So so what do we think Janae got him doing? Um, Yo, Rory takes all my jokes. That was your joke? Yes. Oh. I just said it an hour ago. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and you laughed mad hard, and now you're saying it. Oh, well. <laughs> you still but, out of my shit. But it's fine. What do we think Janae has him doing? Or or was Sean supposed to have music coming? I don't know. What did he put out the album? Could, the last album. That was last year, right? That was a while ago, I think. Yeah, it's been, he's definitely due up for something. Everybody's due up now. Right. New year, new year, whatever you did last year, wipe that shit clean. It's nothing. You're due up again. Uh is this the jig? What you mean? Sean, Sean, oh, Sean is my guy, but I'm I'm going with the jig. Really? Come on, man. I'm going with the jig. Yeah, I feel like we have this conversation every year. You think it's up? Oh no, 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 I don't think it's over for Big Sean. Of course uh, not. I'm saying with this, this is a crock of bullshit. Let's get into, <laughs> let's get into this. All right, so wait a minute. Yeah, it's a fucking crock of bullshit. Hold on. It's let's, a crock let's, of let's bullshit. Let's get into this. Uh, let's get into the other crock on the fucking uh, <laughs> stove. Young Thug is not putting music out for a whole entire year <laughs> because he's honoring his deaf and mute brother. He's not putting out music for a year because he's honoring his deaf and mute brother. Yes, he says his brother doesn't know what it's like to hear and to speak. So he would like to put himself in that box. Listen, I don't Drake, know. I'm not Drake got your butt. I didn't, now. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This good yeah. deed shit is going way but too I, far. Did his brother pass? <laughs> no, he's alive. No, he's alive. Oh. I, no, I'm just trying to figure out you know, the, the whole story. I didn't know. No, that's the whole story. <laughs> So he's not putting out in honor of his Man, death. it's the fucking jig. <laughs> Stop having me explain bullshit. How you na- rename I mean, yourself sex and then the next day? <laughs> this is the jig. Come on, sex. He's just bored. <laughs> Come on, Come sex. On, sex. <laughs> what do y'all be where do y'all be finding these stories at? <laughs> Timeline? Mm, okay. <laughs> the world? I, I Pop missed, culture mall. I missed that one. <laughs> What, did he change his name to sex? No, 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 I, I caught that one, but not that he was not putting out music for a year to honor his deaf and mute brother. Is this, just tell me if this is the jig. I, y'all do y'all do a he's lot of tap release, dancing He's going to release a record next week. Yeah, probably so. As Young Thug. But wait, before all of this sex and and announcement shit, I, I asked y'all if it was a little quiet for... Uh, for Thug? For yeah. Young, young Thug? I don't think it's quiet for Thug. Nah, it's not quiet for him. Nah. I'm surprised he's not a bigger star than he is, though. Yeah. Okay, so if you're su- if you're surprised for six years in a row, <laughs> he no, he hasn't been. He hasn't been putting out music that long. All right, all right, all right, I'm just asking. Yeah, he hasn't put out music. Uh, nah, that you got it, my G. Nah, it's not, it's not quiet. It's not quiet. For it's him. not quiet. Yeah, nah, it's nah. not quiet for sex. <laughs> no, nah. sex will never go anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, sex is here to it's stay. never over for sex. Okay, so here's here's another question. Here's another question I've been dying to ask y'all. <laughs> Well, not really, y'all, but Rory, along with Sin, Parks admitted to being on this list, too, now. There's a few of y'all who, who along the, the throughout the years, have said to me, yo, Tanache <laughs> is out of here. <laughs> Absolutely. I was not one of those people who said that. So now that Tanache is still <laughs> she's still, still <laughs> she's still here. She's still now here. that Tanache is still very much right here with us, yeah. it hadn't budged. Right? <laughs> is she a lot? <laughs> right. I wanted to ask y'all what happened? what happened. It was nicer here, I guess. It's nicer here. Yeah. It's nicer, it's nicer. here. <laughs> Here's, here's cool. not a, yeah, here's here's not a cool. bad place. It's cool. <laughs> so why do so many people be trying to get out of here? I don't know. I don't know if Tanache was trying to get out of here. Oh shit. Yo. Cause sometimes well, people say, yo, she's out of here, and the, and the artists really don't want to be out of here. They're not ready to be out of here. <laughs> they don't want to be out of here. But, yeah. that, but that's why Rory is real funny because before this podcast started, right? I'm kicking it with him, I'm like, yo. Remember you trying to tell me Tanache was out of here? <laughs> He forgot a little bit. He was like, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, I never yeah. said that. I said, well, wait a minute, Rory. It was right when Drake hopped on two on. Yeah. <laughs> right. you, okay. It worked on you. Yeah. You, was, you was like, it oh, did. this is the one. Yeah. She was pretty. A lot of people rode that way. I don't want to say why she's not bigger than she is, though. Now, she's I would say that. So if you say that for seven she years can dance. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, now that I would say, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how she's not a big artist. She's super hot, though. Yeah. She's the sexy seven. She's talented. She's t- come on, man. What's wrong with you? Come on. Hey, there's something wrong with you. Come on, man. There's definitely something wrong with you. Stop. <laughs> Stop it, man. Stop. She's the sexy seven. She's the sexy seven. 
Come on, man. Stop it. Stop. Sexy seven featuring sex. Yeah. She's eight. She's eight. She's eight. She's, eight. She's, eight. She's one further. <laughs> That's crazy. Sexy seven is hilarious. <laughs> but, but why we say that like seven couldn't be sexy? Exactly. That's what I want to know, Joe. I don't even think I know what seven looks like. <laughs> a lot of people don't, though. No disrespect. Surprising. I just yeah, don't know what she looks I really, like. A lot of people don't. I like her music. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her. She's cute. <laughs> Listen to y'all. <laughs> you, you'd be. She's cute. Seven is cute. That's not yeah. what I said. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I'd probably be. I would, for sure. You trash. I'm trash because I was. <laughs> See, he fucked up. <laughs> I'm that trash because I was. All right, all right. Uh, damn, wait. Somebody else was funny that y'all said was out of here. I, That's I here. Had two, I had two that are still here. Colin, <laughs> Colin Monroe, I swore, was going to be bigger than the Beatles. Colin Monroe. I was completely wrong First of all, you that. thinking any artist today is going to be bigger than the <laughs> Beatles is crazy. And uh, I was on the Vado wave, man. When he when he linked with Khaled, I said Vado. And man. Maul. Vado's out of here. Maul said Vado was out of here, too. I didn't say out of here. I thought that was a good situation for him. Yo. <laughs> That's my nigga. I hate when the yeah, nah, yeah, I never come on. said out of here. Monique. No. That's my nigga, but I never said out of here. I thought that was I don't even know what happened. I said out of here. I don't know. But. Let's really think back though throughout the years to some of the people that nigga said was out of here. I'm trying to think of who I said was out of here that's still here. No, nah, you <laughs> Still here because I know I've still said right somebody here. was out of here. I'm just, I thought I Action Bronson was going to be huge. Oh, I'm so sick of Parks. Parks was pushing that I Action was. Bronson. Once wave. he got to the major label thing, I was like, no, he's because he's got a super good personality. Well, he's, he's, got the TV he's show. successful in business. Yeah, of course. He's Maybe kinda, not musically, but he's successful. He's right. teetering. He's like not really here. Nigga ain't seen he's got to step out. None of Bronson contracts. He wrote his business together though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He, I don't know how much he make it, but he, he's, <laughs> more, more he's very busy. He's very. He's very active. He's Visible, we though. achieved barbershop he's, talk. Yeah, this he's is very barbershop. visible. One hundred percent. He's very visible. Everyone in the barbershop. I don't know what he's contract. making, but he's he's visible. You definitely said J.R. Ryder was out of here. I, ne- <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. You didn't. You didn't no. think he was? I thought he was good, but I never said out of here. I kind of. I maybe thought Graf was out of here for six mm-hmm. months. Six months ago, you thought no, 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 no. I'm saying four, oh. six months. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, when he was doing the black hand thing, and they were ducking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I think was out of here as an artist? Y'all fronting right now. I gave I you my I, remember, I, Colin I, Monroe. Yeah, I was always, convinced. Niggas always get convenient amnesia. I, I ain't my, gonna I, lie. I, early, and and this guy is out of here. But let, I'm still gonna get the jokes off. Early on in Ed Sheeran's career, boy, Rory gave me every cover he did. <laughs> Word. I got it. Come on, redheads, get together, man. Yo, Rory True. was rolling with them Ed Sheeran yeah, yeah. covers. He had all the YouTubes <laughs> favorite in. <laughs> I pull those up at the at the kickback. <laughs> oh, speaking of Ed Sheeran. Joe uh, definitely thought Nicki Heat was out I might have thought, uh, oh my God. <laughs> I thought Tory Lanez was out of here years ago. Mo, I he is, hold up one well. second. More. I might have given Charles Hamilton a week that he might have been out of here. <laughs> Joe oh. thought Charles Hamilton was out of here too. No, Man, Joe got no. Charles Hamilton out of here. No, that was Mary's niece. <laughs> <laughs> and she snuffed him. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't get snuffed by a chick. She or Mary's. You can't get snuffed by Mary's niece. <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> Maybe a nephew, but Maybe Mary. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't delete no notes. I thought Joe was out of here when Pump It Up came out, but mm. that didn't really happen. <laughs> Hardy, har, har. And I was out of here for a little bit. <laughs> then, then you came back here. Yo, every time you get a real good joke off on Rory, he's going to spend the next 37 minutes trying to get you back. <laughs> he is. Just let my Ed Sheeran shit rock out. Listen, man. Speaking of Ed Red Sheeran. stick together. I'm going to try to call Kaiser. No, keep this speaker off. He should be able to hear you. I want to ask Kaiser how he feels about all this music Wale is putting out. <laughs> how Wale is flourishing without him. But he won't answer. Damn it. Damn it. Every time I got a classic moment coming. <laughs> Darn it. Michael. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> I hate niggas. Who that, still has a voicemail? I was, I was just about to say, anybody where they voicemail is their name. Oh, it's, it's I don't even super have trash. a voicemail. My shit's turned off. My yeah. shit just ring. Yeah, endlessly. All right, fine. If he calls back, we'll get into it. Uh, oh, I'm looking at my R&B. Do y'all want to talk about the March Madness shit? 
Not uh, the actual I, NCAA. Back shit. to back to who's out of here. I'll I'll I'll, I'll jump out there early and say I think uh, that Malibu Mitch chick is out of here. I heard a lot of her records. I think she's. Gonna I went be up to the very, studio. Very Bird, Bird played me some shit. Yeah. I yeah, think, I think the women are going to definitely get behind that. Yeah, she is dope. Yeah. So I'll stamp it. I'll jump out there and say she's out of here. We could revisit this in a couple months. Yeah, you just going to... How cash dog going to feel about you supporting <laughs> supporting another chick, chick rapper? <clears throat> She'll understand. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Has cash dog caught wind of uh, your interest? I mean, we're a somewhat popular I podcast. I don't know. People your get wind interest. of... People My interest. <laughs> Has she caught wind of your interest? <laughs> this nigga Rory made me sound much just now. She caught wind of your interest? No, Rory, I don't think she's caught wind of my interest. <laughs> all right, everyone go to Cash Doll's Instagram. No, put, no, 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 please God, no. And all the comments. Please oh, God. God. Yo, Rory, <laughs> no, you that no, guy. No, nobody, nobody don't be that guy. Please, no, nobody go to Cash Doll's page. <laughs> uh, do we care about do we care about Airbnb doing concerts now? I think you, it's pretty dope. What you mean? They're doing uh, concerts at people's cribs. I think venue spaces they'll they'll do. So they're just didn't a work, Dill. Yeah, we explain things very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds to me like they're just Can a somebody pull up a the Airbnb concert article. They're not just they're so a sponsor. They're Facetime or some shit. Wait, on, Airbnb man. is if they're, they're Airbnb is people's cribs and turn them into no, concert no, spaces. No, they're, then not, that's fire. they're not sending that's Kendrick to your living room. That's lit. <laughs> that's lit if they're that's doing super that. lit. We might have just gave them an idea. No, that's not what they're doing. Yeah, we got. We but I think they're relying on on artists who are able to bring a certain amount of people to a centralized location. So I guess if you sign up with them or something, okay. I think that's what it is. I'm waiting for somebody to pull it up. Hey Joe. Yeah. Well, no, I guess I don't know. Maybe. No, your beard, your mustache. Oh, it's Kaiser. Your mustache. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph. Kaiser, hold up for a second. Hold up. All right, here we go. Great. Kaiser, can you hear me? I can, Joseph. Good. Don't say anything incriminating. I'm on my podcast live, so don't say anything. Nah, nah, Joe. I can't operate like that. Two, please. Two, please. Listen, I just want to let you know that all Wale's new music sounds great. Fantastic. I love Wale. You should, and it sounds excellent. Have Pray you heard it? Have, have you heard Pray it? Have I heard it? No. I just heard it as you guys heard it as he's releasing it. You guys, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Bye, sorry. God. I'm Joey, sorry. Joey, wait, did I, did I miss Joey? Did I miss something? Yo, you're good, man. I, I, some, Joey. Sometimes I try to get niggas on the ropes. That's all, but I can't get you. <laughs> Joe, come on, I, man. I, I tried. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Did I miss something, Joey? Please well, tell me. No, no, not at all. I just I have an interview coming with, with Wale soon. And, uh oh. And, you know, I, I would never let. Call, please. Please. We're going to sing everyone's praises. You don't have to sing. I mean, everything is not sweet. But, you know, you know, all relationships, those are real relationships. As you know, we have our ups and our downs. But Wale has been a good partner. He's a good guy, man. I love that guy. Yeah. An artiste. He's an artiste. Artiste. Thank you. I see how you've been around so long, man. <laughs> love that guy, man. Love that guy, Joey. Well, hey, and enjoy your, uh, where you at, Chin Chins? I don't even know where rich people nah, eat now. I'm actually waiting for you so we can go to dinner, you fuck. Oh, yeah, we got to do that. <laughs> yes, this well, week. When do we go to dinner? Joey, stop talking shit. We're going to do it this week. Let's do it this week. I'm right, serious. I got a new spot. I got a new spot. A new spot. Jade 60. Come on, we can go up there and get it in. Oh, that's not Before. <laughs> Before the rappers find out about it, all oh, right? Come oh, on. man. Well, you just told <laughs> Beth. I'm excited. All right, guys. I'll call you later. <laughs> you that... Tell me when you're ready. I'm here. My Always. man. All right? My man. All right, guys. That's how you know you have money when you call dinner getting it in. <laughs> I'm about to get it in. Serious. That nigga named some place I'm way too broke to eat at. <laughs> He named some place. He was gonna take him to floor. He named some place that had a letter and a number. <laughs> what the fuck is J sixty? That spot. sounds great. That was a good joke. Sometimes, <laughs> see yeah, if, if yeah. you if you grow some balls and stand on your good joke. <laughs> let let us hear that Takashi Joe. He ain't gonna come for you. I'm, you think I'm gonna? You think <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I spent all of LA ducking him. You, you think I'm gonna let? What'd you say? I'm just. I'm not letting Takashi put a hand on Rory Mall. No, thanks, bro. Okay, what do you don't want do me that. To, oh, don't do that. I didn't do anything. You would. You would let Takashi just do that. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I told you I'm in a silly mood. <laughs> Come on, Brett. Let's break this Takashi. Takashi was arrested. I only know this the same way I know anything else about Takashi because fucking academics said it. <laughs> <laughs> His MCM. If it weren't that for academics, I wouldn't know anything about uh, Takashi. But he was arrested somewhere, and Rory tells me my son was there. <laughs> uh, according <laughs> to Instagram. And Parks is telling me he has the full version of my son's diss track. I do. That, it's kind of hard, the sleeper. too. What? It's not the sleeper. It's not the sleeper. Parks, <laughs> don't, Parks don't even get sleepers. <laughs> I'm going to play it as my Last sleeper. time Parks had a sleeper, he played some Tom Petty shit, and we banned him from that. <laughs> He's speaking, like, nah, this is the hard Tom Petty. Speaking of academics, uh, academics, you got to, I don't know this thing you're doing, freedom yeah, or keep I don't like you got to. I don't like it. See, now, one of these young young men see you and they and they put hands on you, then you're going to be calling for the law. But you putting this shit up, it's not a joke when people are arrested. Free them or keep them, that's not, that's not a hashtag, that's not funny, that's not cute. You don't joke around when people are arrested and incarcerated. Like that's not. A, I agree. Something mm-hmm. to gain attention and, and get clicks on your page from. And then when they smack you in your mouth, you're gonna be crying for for the cops. Then like stop, stop doing that. That's what's wrong with the game now. It's too many niggas like that that have a platform that think that shit is funny, and it's not funny. Niggas getting arrested and niggas doing jail time is nothing funny about that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was scrolling. I saw that whole free them or keep them thing, and I was like, yeah. Yes, that's true. Like, nah, it's not funny. Let me call him, but then I was like, nah, I'm not gonna call him because to under, to understand, <laughs> he gotta to, get smacked. No, just to understand what's bad about it, you have to kind of understand that side of it, and I know act is not. <clears throat> Nah, he Listen, understands. He un- he, no, he understands the you side. You can tell who's been punching their face. He understands. Any nigga that's walking around out here know it's not a good thing to be locked up. Like, I don't care if no. you're not a street dude. No. I, I, nope. That's not good nope. to have your freedom nope. taken from you. Nope. Everybody knows that. Everybody does not know that. Everybody knows that. Everybody does. Everybody know. knows that having your freedom is is not something to play with. You are you are uh, underestimating. Civilians. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not underestimating. It's not about All right, underestimating so, so civilians. Let's, so, let's, so let's have the conversation. He knows that. Acad- I'm talking about academics. He knows that not having your freedom is not something to joke around and play with. He knows that. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's not, had relatives arrested and locked up. But that's not he's not, my, that's not refuting my, what I'm saying, though. No, I understand what you're saying. There are some people that may not know that. No, what I, what I'm, I'm talking I'm, about academics. What I'm saying is this. Knowing it, like, right, just, just knowing, hey, your freedom is great. We want our freedom. That's very different from the gentleman who's actually spent some time incarcerated and is saying, I wish jail on no man. It's a, it's a different sentiment. I understand that, but it has a different. But but you putting up a hashtag free him or keep him. What do you, though? What the fuck is that? Keep him where? Keep you want to keep keep him in jail? You don't play with that. You don't play with that. And that's the problem. Shit is out of control with these new internet niggas and these new niggas that's running around. But then when these dudes see them and they want to bring harm to them or put hands on them, then they gonna feel like, oh, I'm just a, I'm just a, a blogger. Yeah. I'm just a. I'm just nah, trolling. So 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 then play stay in that lane. Don't put my face on your page to my friend will keep him. Don't play like that. And if somebody then somebody don't tell him that, then I'll be the one to tell him that. That's not funny. And don't play around like that because then when it gets serious, you're gonna be calling for the law. You right? That, that deserves yeah. applause, in my opinion. Yeah, let me. I'm let just me, being honest, man. Me, I don't like like shit like that. Is stupid. You don't play around free him or keep him. I don't care what Herbo did or didn't do. Like you don't make that. A, that's not something. That's not clickbait. You don't play around people's freedom. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I don't like it. And yeah, man, <laughs> just let the applause do the talking. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, I don't know why why Takashi was arrested. I don't know why my son was there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't heard his album. I just know all the album titles look, you know, funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new thing. I am very interested to see just what people are doing. The, the things that the kids are doing to, to just get the attention of people, like, it's great. These creative minds, man. They think in a new and innovative ways. <laughs> Niggas' album song titles is just blah. <laughs> <laughs> Goo. <laughs> my, ne- my next song, three. <laughs> like, that's all it is. But I, and I haven't heard the music. And clearly y'all haven't either, so we can't talk about it. Yeah. Not that I was going to hear a I mean, I'll listen album. to it, but... Uh, he's projected to move a lot of units, though. His first uh, he's projected to do what sixty nine. Uh, that would be dope. Sixty nine thousand, which is which is really really good. Uh, Nipsey, I think, is projected to do fifty. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I think that's really good. I, I saw a couple of people hitting me like, yo, keep the same energy on Nipsey's 50. I mean, it does sound a little bit low just because it's a major situation. And I've, all the love I've seen it get on social media, it seems like he would do more. Yeah, I, I, I think 50 is low. I don't think that to, I don't think He's been getting all. a lot of support from a lot of like from big everybody. Rigs, yeah. From everybody, so that is that is. I understand what people are saying. That is kind of low, but the but, album's good. So. Yeah, but I don't. I, uh, that that album is so good. I don't care what it sells. I'm gonna assume, and and this is just. I don't look at it that way. I'm gonna assume that Nipsey Hussle went into uh, this deal with most of these records. Mm. I don't think he signed and then started yeah. recording. I no, know, no, I hell no. Make any sense. So, so that. I think his deal is very favorable to him. Uh, and we know Atlantic does give out; they're, they're doing artist-friendly deals. But I think Nipsey's deal is even more artist-friendly sure. than he their was, normal deal. He was doing so well also, independently. Already. Yeah. Also, if you're not if you're not a priority at Atlantic, I I expect you to do somewhere between thirty and fifty. That's so still- for so for Nipsey to do fifty, Ty Dolla Sign album didn't do do that. Mm-hmm. I, I can't name too many Atlantic projects that did that. So I'm looking at it from Atlantic's point of view. I got it. We, got it you just you came here with this album. You got your whole team. You on a run, and the word of mouth is great on the album. They feeling like a million bucks. And oh, here's the other important part. Very different. Thirty four of the fifty was physical copy. Oh, See that important. says that that says the difference between men who have went out and worked their fucking fan base. It's true. Uh, niggas yeah. have curated their own shit and the new jacks that's just streaming some shit that's true that's 30,000 out of 50 physical. going yeah, to buy yeah, yeah. physical copy that's great that's that's strong that's yeah. that's strong so I'm never gonna call that a flop at all shout out to Nipsey uh, he did well and shout out to Atlantic they did well uh, speaking of Wale I call Kaiser to fuck around but w- Wale is putting out music and it is good yeah, so am I the only today. one am I the only one of this belief no that no, shit he dropped today was crazy I haven't heard anything yet are you waiting are you waiting for what an entire project? No, no, no. I'm gonna listen to. It. I just didn't listen to what he dropped today. Oh, okay. Well, he's rapping. I yeah. mean, well, y'all know. I've said it on. I, I like Wale. I think Wale is is super underrated. And it don't seem like he forcing hits because it's not like a radio friendly record. Uh, what's it called? Staying Power, I think. Yeah. Which is yeah. It's just some great music. So obviously he's trying to stay in his lane. That record that he had with G Easy, I don't know why that record wasn't bigger than what it was. I don't think Atlantic wanted to. I I think that they record was super it. dope. Yeah, like that record to me is super dope. I, I, don't, I, don't, that, I don't think that they was on it. the last album. Or yeah, it was, was on Shine. Yeah, uh, I think it was the second single, or maybe the first. Yeah, that record was dope. But I will say, I, on Apple Music and Tidal and Spotify, it all says MMG as the single for Wale. So does that mean he is still signed technically to Atlantic? No. No. But MMG is signed to Atlantic. I think they're signed to Warner, though. Warner owns Atlantic. Yeah, but it's different labels within the Warner Music Got group. Got you. Okay. So. Wale is MMG, but he is not Atlantic anymore. Um, Meek is still Atlantic MMG. Gotcha. Was that a false rumor about uh about Meek being granted a new hearing? I didn't even see Did that. anybody oh, see that? I remember seeing that. I saw that. I hope it's true. I haven't yeah, seen anything I, come of it. Yeah, I saw that, but I don't know if it's true or not. I can't I see how he did these after fucking all, fake reports. After all the shit that came out about the judge and her conflict of interest and all that, how is it not a new trial? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so speaking of judges, seven seconds, Netflix. Has anybody seen it? Has anyone heard of it? I forgot. Seven I, seconds? I'm currently watching it. Seven so seconds. Don't ruin just came out on Netflix a few days ago. This is starring R- Regina Hall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from 227. Mm-hmm. Why does Regina Hall still look exactly the same from 227? <laughs> but uh, Coconut it's, oil. Water. It's shot, uh, it's shot right there in Jersey City. Mm. Uh, and it's it's based in Jersey City. And it's supposed to be about uh, JCPD and them being crooked. No, they could never. It's just a real good show. I mean, Rory just started watching it, so I thought, I I mean, I can't even get into it now because I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, don't. What, what episode are you on? I just, I just finished the first one. I got all the way to the end. So let me just say, I don't know why people was beefing about the end. 
and I can't really say anything else. <laughs> Yo, y'all, Listen, y'all, man. y'all hinder me from talking about. You said so it just much came out shit. a couple days ago. How are we supposed to watch Word. the whole shit? I don't have a job. <laughs> I'm home watching. To, I'm I'm refreshing to see a new show. <laughs> I'm up at three a.m. All right, what you got for me tonight, Netflix? <laughs> That's a lot of fucking shit to be looking through. Netflix is putting out new shit like every, every hour. Day. Word. Nah, they kind of slow down. Though. I'm, I'm upset about it. You would know because you're on the <laughs> well, To watching us, that. it seems like a lot. Well, you know what? What's that? The show that I was watching, Carbon, Altered Carbon. That's that star uh, had a spark when it started, but now it's just garbage. So I left that. Uh, Cloverfield Max. That was trash. Come on, come on, that Netflix, knock it off. That's that trash. Awful. So what I'm saying is they had a few Duds. swing and a miss. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this seven second shit is hard. When you put out a bunch of shit, you're gonna have some duds. Yeah, I guess. I think somebody said that uh, there's a new Marlon Wayne special on on Netflix. Oh yeah. How much money did he get? Called Wokish. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Damn. What you not fucking with that? It's a uh, like a comedy special. Well, <laughs> Marlon Wayne is, is in comedy more. Yeah, but he's an actor too. So I don't know if you're talking about like a series or just a stand up. I'm cool on the Marlon Wayans. He's a real actor. Marlon Wayans? <laughs> yes, Marlon Wayans is a real actor. What are you talking about? Okay. You don't consider Marlon Wayans a real actor? You didn't I'm not saying anything the, because uh, him and Oscar I had him and I had chicks? like some fake pseudo beef back I in the day over, over, over something beef. I said. Oh, what happened? Why did we have a Twitter beef? I don't remember. But you, I'm you sure said it was something about him. Yeah, you know how you do. I did say something about Marlon Wayans. <laughs> you know how you do. But you know, it wasn't a beef. I'm excited to see Atlanta come back this week. Yeah, now that I'm, I'm ready to see. No, nah, I think Atlanta's been prominent, especially on the music scene. When you're looking at the work, that's... <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, all good, right. Good try, I bro. get Atlanta. All right, all right. Atlanta comes on when tomorrow, right? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and people are excited about it. You're not excited about? Do you watch the first season? Mm-hmm. You didn't love it like that? Not like everybody else, but I did like it. Okay. I wasn't on the edge of my seat waiting for season two. I mean, yeah, I guess it's not like that. I guess it's also weird when actual traditional TV shows come out now because you actually have to wait a you week. To, yeah, exactly. That shit is whack. <laughs> yeah. I'm Give me the wait. whole season. Yeah, man. no, I'm not waiting a week to watch no show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but why, all right, tell me why we're excited about Atlanta. Come on. Y'all come out with these two. Hey, Atlanta's coming. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're talking uh, about it was a good pheno- TV it was a shows. phenomenal first season. So right. why would I Fuck not want to see the second season? Hey, for some people who may not be familiar with it, <laughs> tell us something about it. I mean, it's a great show with the great childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover. Um, and I think that this is going to be a better season because that the other the co-star in it, I think he's greater. Uh, his acting career is going to take off. Wait, which one? The, the rapper dude. He's out of here. No. Paperboy. Yeah. All right now I'm mad I even asked her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't give a fuck he, about it. The any one that was in Get Out. The one that was in Get Out. Uh, was he in Get Out? No, he wasn't in Get Out. What's the other co star on the show, Atlanta? That was oh, in oh, Get you're right. He wasn't oh, Get Out. About, um, he was. What's his name? Shut up. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Not you, Rory. Oh. I know who you're talking about. Well, thank you. And, and, still, the, and still the listeners <laughs> don't, know don't know who we're talking Guaranteed about. Guaranteed right they know who I'm talking about. Guaranteed. But he's great. Yeah, I can, offend I can tell where, where he's great at going. His career, they're great at, he's great at like take off. I can tell he's gonna get a lot. He's out of here. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's about to be out of here for real. Just stole my joke. Seriously, like, he's about to be out of here. <laughs> just, just stole my joke. He's out of here. I'm putting the stamp on. He's out of here. Trust me. Trust me on this. <laughs> I don't even remember what we was talking about. My nigga. <laughs> so my Yo, Atlanta, so like the, the show, show Atlanta. It's like you know, it's good. Oh, here's a question for you guys. Where, Siri, shut the fuck. Where do you, uh? On our on our R and B March Madness bracket that that we're working on, Donald Glover would be a one seed. No, uh, he pump faked us. It's, it's half instrumentals. I mean that's true. No, it's eighty percent instrumentals. The other that's shit is true. his vocal was pitched up and he claims they didn't touch any of his vocals. On Donald time Glover thing. would be a what seed? He's got to be a high seed. He was Grammy high nominated. He'd be a, I, I give him a four seed, three four. No, but isn't Actually, it, isn't let me, it by let me pull up the list. I was going to say, let's, let, let's, let's pull up the list and go through it. For the listeners, uh, I t- we last year, I think we teased we were going to do a March Madness R&B bracket, and we never did it. Maybe that was two years ago. This year, we're actually going to attempt to do it. Uh, we're just going to do from, I was going to say from twenty uh, all of 2017 to now, but I feel like I want to start it black. 
because Black came out late 2016. There's a few people that came out in late 2016. Chris Brown would be a one seed, right? Yes. SZA would be a one seed. I just want us to get the one seeds together. Is the uh, tournament specifically about like recent? The year. Yeah, okay. Then I would say Don Glover would have to be uh, a one seed in one of the divisions. How not? Frank Ocean Blonde? That's a one seed. But wasn't that Why? Two years, wasn't that two years ago? Yeah, yeah that, that was, was two, two years ago. ago. Oh, so we get him off of the internet. <laughs> you can wait. Well, who else? Uh, <laughs> with Daniel Caesar? About, we went from a one seed to get him off of here. Huh? <laughs> if he went from, is he a one seed? Ah, uh, yeah, get him off of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Because cause I know people want to put Frank Ocean as a one seed. Yeah, but not but not from two years ago. No. Uh, yeah, no. So just, just give me the ones here. I don't see too many ones. This is ones. a really odd bracket. It's like kind of last year. This is all but... the shit that Joe like. <laughs> yeah. No, mo- most of this is... There's really no right. time frame. Joe got like one of his playlists on there. Liked. You know what's funny? I have artists and albums down here, all from 2017, with the exception of the album I just named. SZA, Miguel, Khalid, Thundercat, Kalani, Mary, Chris Brown, Trey, Bryson, Majid Jordan, Ty Dolla Sign, Sabrina Claudio 7, K. Michelle, Keisha Cole, Daniel Caesar, Frank... Frank Ocean, that her, Flood, her might have to be a number one. Jacquees, Janae Aiko, Gold Link, him, her, they, Tone Stiff, Rotimi, Tank, 112, LA, Eric Bellinger, Sid, Division, Mac Wilds. I don't want to give the whole list away, but. I, Division is a number one seed. I would say, yeah. I think Division might be a number one. Why is Division a number one? That's an incredible fucking album. Okay, but are we determining number ones from the album? I think it would have to be like popularity. Right? Yeah, it would have to be popularity. Like oh, wait. Which that's all these doing? division might have done. I thought we was doing it like us, like what we think, not, not popularity. If it was what Joe would like, he'd put Tank number one in every division. Well, SZA would have to be a one seed based on popularity and the album. Yeah. Chris Brown as well. And then there's two more. I, I wouldn't say Daniel Caesar. He's a new act. And and uh, shout out to him because uh, that Get You record is is now charting. Is now on the top 100 17 months later. And shout Off out. that same album? Yeah. Oh, shout wow. out to after, Carl Cherry for tweeting that and pointing podcast. it out. Mm. Yeah, I would like to think that we had we had a hand in breaking that. All right, we're going to have to figure out these one seeds. But by, by, by my criteria, Donald Glover would probably be a one seed. I think he would have to be. Now that I look at it, yeah, he might have to be. It, absolutely. If we're going by popularity and all this other shit. And her might be too. Her is no definitely. Way. No way. Nah, her don't get a oh, one was, over Janae Aiko. What? Mm. No, actually, yeah, Janae oh. would be number one. Janae would be a one. Oh my god, that her, her would album, be a solid two. That her album was better than Janae's album. Well, no, what? Slow down, Wall. Oh man, slow down. I'm rolling, I'm that rolling Janae, with Wall. That that Jesus, the Janae oh, one is great. Please. Oh please, it's, first her first of all, what crazy. her album are y'all talking about? The first one, one, one right? and two. <laughs> Oh, that's so the, the one you so got up the, here? The yeah, two, I was going to say, her, her shit, uh, no, that's, today that's, was just too long. That's, if you put both of them together. Well, that's because at the, after uh, after she put out the two EPs and then a third EP, she just uh, put them all together. So that's her project. And him did the same thing. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, so, th- so when I have their albums up there, it's in totality. Janae's album is long, but Janae's album is one of the better R&B releases of last year. Y'all got that album fucked up a little bit. No, I'm, I'm I love not it. saying it's that, just, but I'm just I don't I think like it's her better, better than her. And, and if it get to the to the polls, I don't know that niggas are just voting uh, her over Janae. Yeah, okay. I know y'all don't like him, but you can make a case that Khalid would be a number one off impact and sales. Yeah. That nigga would be out it cool. so fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. He would yeah, be he would out be, of here so fast. Cool. Cool. I mean, cool. there's got to be an upset, though. I'm cool. Mad Clowns, Cal Dion, Yeah Lee. Oh, Cal Dion didn't come out there oh, this year. That's mad old. Uh, Justine Sky, Tory Lane's album that didn't come out yet. Sir. Where's Sir? That's that like, that he's, November he's, he's album. A, he's in the top five. That's seed. a top three. I think that's like a three. three How four many seed. one seeds are there? Four. Only four. Four, okay. yeah. This is just like our top 20 conversation. I don't want to bore the listeners. Just know that this week we getting this together and, and well, we dropping this when? What are we going to do? Twitter poll it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Twitter, Instagram. We're going to do it like like we did it. We'll get Philly involved. <laughs> and if we don't do it, we'll just blame it on Philly again. No, no. This we're really doing. I didn't spend my time c- compiling this fucking list for us to not do it. <laughs> we're, we're definitely doing it. Yeah, you're invested now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't even know when you're being serious or when you're joking. Oh. <laughs> All right, don't don't say nothing. That's with, a talent. But you don't say that. nothing with vest to me. Okay. So uh, why is Gold Link on here? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's a rapper. Is it? Joe still don't know who Gold Link is. <laughs> we go through this every week, Wait. dog. Listen, I'm gonna just send you Gold Link shit, send you some photos, but, and we're gonna square this away. But we're gonna get you all set on Gold Link. Yeah, he's a rapper. <laughs> is he not, rapping he's on, not his, even on like any a of singing, his songs? He's a, yeah. Yeah, he's a rapper. What song do I know from Gold Link? The one. <laughs> crew. The crew. one. The crew. crew. With the, one where with Brent, the one where they're Brent, singing. Brent, Brent and Shy the, the one when everyone is singing? <laughs> No, there's only one. No, Brent is the only Brent one singing only the hook. Singing. I mean, in your defense, no, that's not. In your wait, defense, it is singing on that record. Is, in your defense, it is difficult sometimes to tell the difference between rapping and singing in this era. People are kind of the rappers are singing on there, and the singers are rapping. And not just the hook. Shock Lizzy is not singing on there. I don't. All right, you about to just make me have beef with people. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know an, okay, about so any trying, of what so you're I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you, Shock Lizzy is not singing on that record. Okay, and neither is Gold Link. Which one is Gold Link? Gold Link is the first verse. <laughs> that told me nothing at all. Hold on. I'm all right, never mind. No, we'll told, settle this. That told me nothing at all. Well, uh, okay. The first verse. Niggas so know the hook of that record. <laughs> Who knows the verse? This is Gold Link? Yeah. Great song. I played this as a sleeper, by the way. She see money all around this is Brent. All right, this is the part we all know. The you, hook. you mean the hook? <laughs> <laughs> Joe acting like that's not been the, the whole shit. Yo, I'm so tired of us discussing this song on this podcast. <laughs> okay, so look and learn. This is not that's singing. Goaling. That's rapping. In 2017, that was rapping. The far side was doing I that feel too. What Black, saying, Black's whole album sounds like this. That's true. That's not this is what all the singers are doing that's right now. That's not singing. No way. This is rapping. No way. That's not singing. All right, we're not going to have this conversation now. That's not singing. And his album is a rap album. It's that's not that's album. rapping in 2018. It's 17. also singing. That was in rapping in 96. Farside no, was, was doing not. that. Uh oh. Farside wasn't doing that? They absolutely no. were. Yes, they get the fuck. All right. Show me one, give this? me one Farside verse. Never mind. Just doing that. Never mind. Farside, everybody rapped with melody. Every every nigga in Farside rapped with a melody. With yeah. bones, with you, know, you the one nigga that stuck on. My dear, my dear, my dear, you do not no. know me, but it's A bunch of that shit. A bunch of that shit, they was rapping on was, melodies, though. Was they Bone was rapping on melodies. Rapping? Was Bone Thugs rapping or singing? Both. Okay. It was Bone Thugs and Harmony. I, don't, I think y'all y'all are not understanding. <laughs> that part? Y'all, are, y'all, y'all are not. I, I think we're having two different arguments. Do you know who Gold Link is now? <laughs> I don't give a fuck <laughs> about Gold Link. Gold, but that I wasn't was, trying, trying to learn to get, who Gold, Gold Link is. But we, you need to know so we stop. <laughs> Why do I having, need to know who Gold because Link is? You keep is. saying you, you keep saying you don't know who Gold Link is. So I'm now just trying to know. help you out. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have sleepers? <laughs> no, nigga. Uh, <laughs> we're not doing sleepers. Okay. All right, so take Gold Link off. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're getting at. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, all right, so I don't know. We'll get back to this fucking R&B list. You guys know up with shit. All right, let's see. All right, so both of y'all went to see Young Berg. Did y'all get the scoop on uh, uh, Lyrica and, Ho- and A1 breaking up or nah? No, that definitely wasn't no. the topic of discussion. <laughs> no, I didn't well, rush well, into well, the tell, studio. Tell me what was the topic. <laughs> Uh, we were just talking about him. He was letting me hear some music he was working on. I listened to a lot of the Malibu Mitch, uh, some of her music. Berg can't let me hear music no more. I don't want to hear no more music from Berg. Why? I'm tired of hearing music that ain't coming out. No, this Malibu nah, that, Mitch that, project that shit is coming, coming out. out. Yeah. Put the battery in both of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was nah, sold. Nah, nah, they would be nah, crazy. Nah, I left nah, sold. Nah, they would bitch. be absolutely <laughs> crazy not to put this music and out. And people have been crazy before. That's yeah, true. you're right. <laughs> All right. What else is happening? Oh, Maul, you want to give us the scoop on... Uh, on on Victor Cruz and Karuji? No. <laughs> I, sp- I, I spoke to Vic like three weeks ago and just asked him how he was feeling. Was he healthy? Ready to get back? He said, yeah, 100%. I was, Wait, he's not it. retired? No. Nah. Oh. He played like half of last season. Yeah, no, he's not retired. Well, okay. What, Joe? He's not retired. <laughs> now what? <laughs> he's not retired. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> That <laughs> that he's not retired. <laughs> How is that the joke? I'm missing something. Wait, you know Vic is a friend of the show, so don't do that, Maul. I'm asking. Uh, 
Don't try to set me up though, because you I'm know I fuck to, with Vic the same I'm way you do. I'm just asking you a question. You but, started no, laughing. but you didn't answer. I, I wanted Rory's question to be answered. <laughs> what was Rory, Rory's question? <laughs> Victor Cruz is not retired. I thought he was a no. social influencer now. <laughs> no. Oh wait, hold up. Victor Cruz might have fucked one of Rory bitches. He going. <laughs> <laughs> he going kind of hard. Yeah, over he getting here. the checks. He, what, what, what's going on? A social free, influencer. Free Kith, Kith. Kith, Kith ain't sending that package that to uh, do say blues at work. Yeah, mm, I need yeah. that. I want some of that Kith champion stuff too. Yeah, shit is hard. Uh, so what? Is, so what does Vic say? He's not worried. No, he said he's healthy. He's ready to get No, back. I meant worried about Chris Brown, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I, I, didn't, ask, I didn't ask I didn't give a fuck about his ask about health in his career. No, I'm pretty sure Vic is not worried Vic, about Vic, we Brown. love you, and this is all serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are all jokes. All right, so he's not worried about it. No, not worried about Chris Brown. <laughs> what I will say is Karuchi's fine in person. She is. I was She's never attractive. on I was never on that wave like Rory. She's fine in pictures. I was never on the <laughs> Yeah, like what is he talking about? She was my moment. She's I like person. almost every I, one of I, them. I like, uh, yeah, her, she's good to look at in her pictures too. Does he say that like it's a fucking indictment to me? No, and I'm she's saying. good to look. All right, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, make it seem like you gave us breaking news just now. right. <laughs> Karuchi is good to look at in person. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no, I didn't expect her to be that fine in person. Okay. Uh, that's all. You writing for her too? No, oh. I'm not writing for anybody. Let's see what else. Kanye on Family Feud. Anybody? Yes. <laughs> well, it was the Kardashians versus the West. Ain't there only two Wests? Is it just Kanye and Kim versus everybody? <laughs> I didn't get. I didn't get the the structure. <laughs> they said it was the West versus the Kardashians. There's like 17 Kardashians and two Wests. <laughs> Listen, man. I mean, there's certain things I'm just not gonna be a part of, man. <laughs> Chloe's a good. She's a friend. Mo, which uh, which side were you on? I was home. I was home. Mo is a West. I was home. Mo West. Don't talk over my joke. I haven't said anything. <laughs> we heard you. You was home. We still gonna get the Mo West off. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Exaggerated laugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Do we care that he was on Family Feud? We just I'm, saying I'm shit now. We ain't even got right. no when, does it, <laughs> when does it air? I don't know. I, don't know. I gotta watch that. You have. You, you have to watch have that. To. No, you don't. <laughs> what? No, you don't have to, to hear to those watch. answers. You have to. I have to. You have to hear those answers. That's <laughs> great television. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Williams is <are> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jay will look like that bike accident is catching up. Like, Yo, come, on, come on, man. I'm just saying, he looked dazed just now and confused. Uh, all right, so y'all don't give a fuck about that. All right, y'all don't give a fuck about <laughs> nothing on my list. So, Your list we, got, we got sleepers? That list trash. Oh, wait, sorry. Right, so, Victor Cruz is not worried about uh, Chris Brown. No. But, uh, all right, Cam versus Safari. Safari should be a little concerned. You think so? Yes. Let's talk about it. Talk about it. Well, why? Because Cam's name used to be Killer? No, because Cam, <laughs> Cam is he's a different type of dude. He's a, he's a street dude. Of course. So whenever you're dealing with a street dude and there's a woman in the mix, you should be... Oh, that's concerned. not fair no more. That's what? not fair. How's that? What's not fair? I don't think that's fair. What? I agree with what you're saying, by the way. So how's so, it not fair? But I don't think that's fair. Because Safari and Juju are both on Love and Hip Hop. Correct. So how do we know that they're not doing storyline shit? You know what I mean? You know they're doing that. They're 100% so if, doing storyline shit. So if I'm Cam... Well, that's why nothing's happened. Because Cam if knows Cam, it's a storyline. I know they're doing storyline shit, number one. But number two, my beef wouldn't be with Safari, right? Safari ain't putting up pictures of him and Juju every... But yesterday, that... Juju put that up. So, I mean. Yeah, but first of all, I think all of it is storyline shit, number one. Number two, but my thing is, well, you know that that's Cam's, you know. Wife. Right. So, you, or, should, or you should do everything ex-wife. in your power to not be, you know, in pictures with her. If you're on the same <laughs> show, though? Yeah, but no. I mean, not if, if it's show shit, yeah. Then cool, but if it's but you not, you know they gotta sa- sa- sauce it up for the show. Okay, and sauce with that sauce comes. I was watching. I think I was watching. But I was watching the other night. They was reading a book. Then they leaned in for the kiss. I said, "Oh shit, a black nigga's leaning in for the kiss." We were just talking about that. <laughs> wait, wait. Juju and Safari kissed. No, they leaned in like it was a part of the 
play, and then I, I went to piss. So I don't know what happened after that. <laughs> I don't oh, okay. think they kissed, though. No. Wait, why are they in a play? <laughs> <laughs> what is the name Wait, of what play? play is Juju and Safari in? <laughs> I'm leaving that one. <laughs> they are, you, to... are you in the play, too? No, I'm not in oh. the play, dick face. Oh, uh, asking, man. I agree. I agree. Y'all already know how I feel. You, you should never... Niggas will yeah. kill you over. You niggas will kill you over the girl. That's the first, <laughs> first thing they'll kill And you niggas will kill you over the ex girl. So. Especially, <laughs> maybe more. That's true. And if it's seven years and up, you can get killed. Like if we were together seven years, I can kill you. Yeah, Juju got to lay low for like at least another seven years before think so? she start back up. No. Well, how long you have got to be with somebody before you can kill somebody? <laughs> You don't think that's a valid question? <laughs> no. If I'm with a motherfucker for seven years, mm -hmm. depending on how we go out, no, nah, the next nigga could have an issue still. Oh, you know that. You done fucking saved me a few times from fucking doing something stupid <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. I'm after, shocked after, after seven weeks. Man. Yeah, no. <laughs> to my seven I, years. I it, after it seems like after seven it weeks of like hanging out. Lane. Wait, after seven weeks of hanging out, this nigga ready to go crazy. I'm like, bro, just come inside. <laughs> Lay down, my nigga. Don't do that. No, come, come on. <laughs> Seven weeks. Lay down. The summer ain't even over yet. You're going crazy. Lay down, man. I did have a wild summer. I know. Whatever summer that was. Uh, okay, what else happened that Ma and Rory didn't see or don't want to talk about? Uh, are, are you guys going to participate in Black Youngsters uh, contest? What? All right. What is this contest? I'm going to play me a sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this is what it's come to. <laughs> if y'all are forcing me to sit here, he's buying chick's ass. Which, let me tell you, well, I know. No, let me give the criteria. It's not a contest. Somebody's clearly been doing that for the past six years. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Yeah. So uh, he just catching up. First of all, the flyer is Black Youngster and Dr. Miami together on a flyer. Which is hard. <laughs> Number one, post a video of you twerking to Booty Talk by Black Youngster. That's hard. Two, write in the caption why you need a booty. That's hard. Three, <laughs> Tag Black Youngster, CMG the label, and Dr. Miami. Not tagging you, my nigga. Hashtag <laughs> Dr. Miami, Black Youngster, no. and, and no. buy me a booty, Youngster. Never. <laughs> wait, is there... Wait, 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 wait. This Must, is on Instagram? Yes. We gotta... Let's search this hashtag. Must, Look how many chicks is in this hashtag, though. That's actually a valid point. We should. Search the let's hashtag. Take let's take a look. Well, the, the winner will be announced on Friday, so... Search, yeah, but, search, the, the, can't, search the, 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 the ones that's putting their name in the pool, though. Yeah, but, sir, but somebody what? girl in there, guaranteed. It was somebody uh, girl need ass. It's buy me a booty youngster. If you'd like to search that, you know we laughing. I thought that I gave. Uh, There's only 458 entries so far. Somebody girl is in there. But what is wrong with somebody's girl being in there? <laughs> what? It's a. Uh, there's you a lot of rapping to buy your ass. <laughs> all right, so well, while, while Parks looks. So you'll be all right with your girl for. asking a rapper to buy her an ass on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> and hashtagging buy me a booty youngster. What you mean? With everything is wrong with that. What do you mean? What's wrong with that? I wouldn't allow that in my relationship. Okay, that's what I, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, 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 no, but, no man should allow that in their you, relationship. I don't know what's not a lot of entries thus far. Right. <laughs> Wait, par, is that par, a child? I don't want to hold it. Pause. 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 I said pause. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to broadcast this I don't want to. I don't, I don't. Show it to them all. <laughs> pause. It's not really worth it. Pause, yeah. That's not worth seeing, honestly. I thought it was creative. No, it's a good little campaign. So, Mo, you wouldn't let your uh, black youngster buy your chick an ass? I wouldn't let <laughs> black youngsters do anything with my chick. You, you wouldn't about? let your chick be in a play? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, well, I missed that one. Uh, what else he said earlier? I thought he said that earlier. He don't let his chicks breathe. Mm -mm. Wouldn't no. let your chick... Uh... But she can date right after you break up. Oh, well, if we break up, man, do what you want. <laughs> Yo, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a interview one of more exes. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. This nigga's not as cool as he portrays. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is here on the docket. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what y'all think about a Chris Brown Joyner Lucas project that is apparently coming oh. I have to like it because Joyner's my man no doubt <laughs> that, that song was alright that they put out I don't cool. want to hear that shit honestly yeah. I don't I don't want I, I, feel like he's I want Chris Brown to go sit down for a second yeah. honestly and not because it's bad music not because he's doing anything wrong I think he's doing everything right probably but it's just probably too much it's too much 
So now he's rapping with, with Jordan Lucas? I haven't heard it. And, and they I'm were not, both singing. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's been rapping, but... I know, but... They're both rapping and singing. Chris Brown guy. just put out uh, a five-hour album. <laughs> <laughs> then he put out a Christmas album. He working. That was the deluxe extended version from the five-hour album. He working. I need that type he, of coke. He's on... He's on... Uh, it's just regular. He's on A1's records. He's, he's on working. King Combs. Records and let me just say, uh, back to A one and Lyrica for a minute. <laughs> you still devastated? Thank God. No, but I mean, you kind of got to get a pass if you did seventeen songs on Chris Brown's mm. album. You, you kind of got to be allowed to go order some escorts for a night. <laughs> no, I think it's always a great time to order some escorts. <laughs> Whatever. Not when Antoine's not, not there. Antoine's there. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga will never be around again. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Why is pause? It's a fucking fact. I ain't fucking calling I, I Antoine I around. I don't know Antoine, so no. Good thing. <laughs> pause. <laughs> Yo, man, come on. What, what was we talking about before Antoine? Listen, man. <laughs> Happy Dominican Day, Independence Day, man. We got to shout out the Dominicans, man. True. We going to Dykeman after this? We out. I would love to. It's nice outside, too. It's Dominican Independence Day, y'all. <laughs> So why are you playing the music from Oz? <laughs> Yo, this is definitely out of BC's music. He was getting jiggy with it. This is that shit. Y'all remember this? Yeah, this came on before Adam BC was fighting the Muslim. <laughs> this came on right before him and Shai got it in. <laughs> hey, Adam BC took a scully off. Say so you don't want to order a sandwich right now. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me y'all niggas ain't ready to order sandwich. Hit the chimney truck. <laughs> Hit that note again. Chill, chill, chill. Had to shout out Dominicans, man. I, Dominican Independence. No I forgot everybody had an aux cord. Just wondering where that music was coming from. Like, oh, holy I it was an ad. I, I, hit, I hit the mute button on my laptop. God damn it. What day is Dominican Independence Day? Today. Well, yesterday now that they're hearing this. Uh, uh, sure. Oh, man. But what you are... know they're going to make that at least two days. <laughs> two <Hell> days. Yeah. <laughs> Go uptown Sunday at La Marina and <laughs> see what's going on. Oh, let me work on my story now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go on a Sunday. What's today, Tuesday? <laughs> you know, hey, when nigga want to go out on the weekend, you got to work on your shit during the week. That's right. Yeah, yeah, start my shit soon. Uh, all right, so the Puerto Rican, when's Puerto Rican Independence Day? That's it's in the, the summer summertime. summertime. I think yeah. June. Which one's better? Listen, I don't get me a start. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not picking a side on that one. Yeah, no, I'm just starting fights right now. Uh... I don't give a fuck about any. Do y'all? Did y'all? Do y'all care about? Uh, do y'all care about all this uh, stuff that's going on with Mark Cuban and Dirk? Uh, I didn't hear about anything going on with all Dirk. Right, Sean, so him and Dirk having a little beef. Oh, tell me. Oh, I mean, they just it's speculation. No, right? no, no, no. It's, it's no. It's just really just speculation right now. It's nothing like. Well, tell me. Nothing about was it. said. Nothing. No, they no. just they just feel like I love speculation. They might <laughs> <laughs> that him and Dirk might be having a little beef right now. But Dirk is on his way out. It's, it's, Dirk it's is that, 47 yeah. years old. Yeah. There's nothing to beef about now. I mean, he hasn't built a team around him in a decade, though. So I yeah, feel you know how this is such a nigga, <laughs> a nigga podcast? I, I, I was talking about some of the uh, inappropriate behavior that's being reported coming from the Mavericks facility uh, as an organization. Trying to sound intelligent. And, and uh, Cuban being complicit as in knowing about it and making the gentleman sign some paperwork that says he can't work around women. That's what's going on. Uh, hmm. Who can't? Oh, work I thought you was talking about when Cubans they called him creep? saying, uh, "Let's tank the season." Yeah, I thought that's, that's what I, I thought, thought she was talking about. Yeah, me too. No, there, there's a report. Uh, there's a report uh, about. Well, first of all, did y'all know Mark Cuban? That there's another owner. <laughs> it's, it's always a couple. Yeah. yeah, it's always. It's well, well, one of the important owners. Is running around doing some wild shit to women, and it's coming out now that Mark Cuban knew about it. Oh. So that that they're trying to figure out how to deal with it. Mm. Interesting. So they're trying to figure out if Mark Cuban is complicit in that. Uh, which is funny. Speaking of people being complicit, uh, my thoughts on this whole NCAA thing that, and and I won't talk too much about it, but I, I see certain NBA players <laughs> starting to speak out about it now. Uh. 
My thoughts are much like Bud C. League with the steroids scandal that was going on in baseball. Of course, college hoops is complicit in all of this fuck shit that's happening, right? Yeah. Of course, college hoops knows that players are being paid. <laughs> this shit. Is that crazy. players are being scouted. That yeah, there's big time snitching. money in AAU ball and and, and there's big money yeah. in all of it. Shit bigger than Nino Brown. Yeah. Yeah, it is bigger than Nino Brown, Rory. They only addressing it because somebody snitched. That's it. Just one person or, or multiple people? No, multiple snitching. people are snitching. So my question now: Do y'all care about the tourney? Of course. Because of now course. all because now all the good teams are are in in. In trouble. Like Man, play, you know though, how much money they'll lose if Zayvon, they end up suspending those Zayvon, teams. Pull up all yeah. the teams. That's, that's they, they, would, they would never. Fucking Kansas these teams should be them. happy that all these major teams are now getting caught because they're just gonna let this shit blow over. You know how much money the NCAA would lose if they suspended all those teams? But there's a simple way to fix this: pay, pay the guys, pay the athletes. Right. All of this disappears if you pay your players. Simple. I ain't gonna lie. When the stories was coming out, all I could think was, "Damn, y'all killing niggas for borrowing a little ten stacks, a little fifteen right. grand. Right. Y'all could just pay them that." Right. I just don't understand how you expect a kid from the inner city to fill up the arenas all across the country every time he goes to play, and he's making your school millions of dollars, selling and, jerseys, and his selling mom can't pay the light bill. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't understand where that makes sense anywhere in the world. It's like the music business, right? So I mean, it's a, it's a pay vicious the, cycle. Pay the, vicious pay, the, cycle. pay the players, man. Pay the players. I think it's great for the. I think it's great for college. I think more kids will go to college. I think more. Well, now they have to, but they would want to go. Right. Um, you know how much I wild out broke in college. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, imagine you got <laughs> if a salary. I had mad money. Yeah, but then now, now imagine shit. you walking into an arena and every kid in the student body is wearing your jersey. Oh no, that I, is sold I at a student yeah, university store for like fifty dollars or forty dollars. And you're not seeing any of that. Your, and your family is struggling. Your mom is struggling. Your sisters, your brothers, like, that doesn't make any sense. Sidebar, before I forget, last week, uh, the fans, the fans, uh, when we were talking about Ray Carruth and, and him wanting custody of his his child, the fans informed me that the child is special needs yeah. and needs to be taken care of. That's why that's, why that's a thing. Yeah. I think that, I read somewhere, too, that the sp- child is special needs because... Because of what they, what his mom, did. yeah, his, his mom being, being killed, killed. or whatever. Uh, so yeah. that's even sicker. Like this dude is. Yeah, that's nasty. Uh, I'm probably gonna go home and watch the Ray Carew special again. I don't know why I like all those murderer cycle. Specials. That's the best. That's the best kind of TV. Yeah. All right. Here, here we go. In case you guys were wondering, I did find out the alleged story between A1 and uh, Lyrica's breakup. I was depending on Maul and Rory to kind of break it since you both went to the studio. <laughs> yeah, because we went and That's talked you. about A1 and Lyrica's breakup. Well, y'all don't rap. <laughs> the, the fuck y'all in the studio That's what for? you think. Oh, you God. don't rap either. What you be going to the studio for? I don't. Mm, I be it's a right for China. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. It says here, who says this? The Shade Room did some digging. And it seems the drama all occurred when allegedly A1 and his boy ran into some girls and started vibing. <laughs> They brought Sometimes the girls. Got a vibe. Well, that's always fun when you run into girls and catch a vibe. Like I feel like we read this. That we was a nah. Oh, what a night show. This was in backstage. Oh, we didn't do this on the podcast. Got you. Got you. Okay. I oh know, yeah, I, I knew I heard this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, girl, uh, oh, and they started vibing. <laughs> <laughs> they brought the girls to the hotel room and tried to have them sign a bootleg contract, stating they couldn't speak to the media. Then some adultery went down. <laughs> I mean, they, when you vibe, sometimes you have to th- adulter. And they told the girls they had to leave shortly after. Yeah, it happens once you're done. That's how adultery should go. <laughs> yeah, I've not really seen... Step one, vibe. Should they have stayed? <laughs> right. If the vibe was over and the adultering was over... The night is over. Word. Bye. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it sucks when you lose your girlfriend after a night of vibing and adultery. I mean, she got to understand. Chance. America got to understand they were vibing. What was he supposed to do? Not vibe back? Yeah, and you got to vibe to make good music. So it's like... That's what women... That uh, When you're vibing, that's what women call... Uh, Entertaining. Mm. You entertaining these hoes? You know, now that vibing vibe is a slang, though. Should women rethink that whole entertaining these hoes thing? Because sometimes you catch a vibe. 
They will never ever rethink. Let me explain to you what women will never do is rethink you entertaining some other women. But should they? I know they won't. Too, but what, with what vibing being that? such a big prominent thing now, like is vibing entertaining? Yeah. You, nah, you only supposed to vibe with your chick. Nah, it's you crazy. <laughs> that's what they, they they believe. I'm not saying that that's what it is. That's what they believe. Yes, let me tell you how they funny. They think looking at a girl is entertaining. Or let me tell you how funny Sin is, right? And I'm never supposed to say this, but <laughs> Sin is funny. You know, how, you know, how certain chicks look out for like the the chicks that aren't really fully dressed, the bartenders, the hoes. That's you know flirtatious and down to adulter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the ones that be vibing. Sin new thing is to target the the bitches that's tweeting like. It's the holistic spiritual shit to me. <laughs> she up on game. She don't want. She don't. I want respect chick, it. She don't want chicks sending you good energy. Yeah. I, I respect yo, it, Sim. If, if a chick says something about yo, good morning, peace, king, positive energy, <laughs> Sim though, like don't don't wish me good energy, my nigga. <laughs> yo, yo, and now I don't even hit the spiritual chicks back no more. Yeah, nah, because it's hot. Yeah, you can't send no good energy back. <laughs> you gotta DM the energy Yeah <laughs> But then the energy Looks away <laughs> Like if I gotta DM you This, this yeah, vibe is all wrong. Yeah, It's all wrong If I gotta DM the energy It's like the energy's not there no more Then it just feels creepy Yeah I think women should rethink that I think vibing should be allowed <laughs> Good luck I, I yeah, hear let me, you let me know It's not gonna happen you, fight, you fighting a losing battle but I'm, okay. not, I'm not fighting it Okay I'm not trying to vibe Okay <laughs> I don't leave my bedroom. <laughs> no, I'm cool. I don't want to vibe with anyone. All right. Uh, lastly, I guess we'll get into Donald Glover's uh, interview that he did uh, with Atlanta coming out. You guys are real excited about that, right? I missed yeah. that old segue. If I was yeah. as, as excited about Atlanta, I would have caught that. There you go. It's a great right. show. So you don't Do you watch, watch Atlanta? Explain Atlanta to you again. You know what? Atlanta for me was like. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the quirky, dry humor type of thing. It's just not really my style of show it's like stranger things like i watched stranger things and i enjoyed it when the second one came out i didn't give a fuck i didn't see it i'm not trying to see it i don't care atlanta is a little bit like that uh it's that like netflix uh, movie uh or show the end of the fucking world i didn't see that yeah it, it is, it is a little it. like that it's like a little yeah it's a little I, I i saw it I, I saw a few episodes of that show i heard it was yeah. good it was good it is it's just a little the way it ends is like Super crazy, but you know what I don't like on 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 Netflix when I when I go to click on one of the shows and I read the little uh, paragraph they got there to get you all hype, and then I click it and it's mad British London accents <laughs> trying to figure out who killed the guy. <laughs> I'm cool. I can't watch a whole series of of British and London accents. That's just me. British and London accents. Yeah, but I, I only bring it up because Netflix is good for that. They are good for going to London and stealing a murder mystery <laughs> and now fucking putting it out over here. Uh, Black Mirror is like that. I feel that's like true. A lot of Black Mirror has an accent. Mm-hmm. I stopped watching Black Mirror. <laughs> and now you just watch real life. I stopped watching Black Mirror. All them NBC shows I used to go crazy about, Quantico, Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah, Quantico Got them trash. all out of here. Don't watch any of them shits. Yeah, you used to have like 15 Quantico bars. In the end of your career, all my Quantico bars was hard <laughs> at the tail end of it. Roy, yo, the Roy, tail Roy, end. was it not the tail end? <laughs> <laughs> the tail end of your career is funny though. Let's be honest, Joe. That's funny. Yeah, but don't laugh and then high octave. Laugh. What? <laughs> the, the tail end of your career is hilarious. That's all funny. right, we well, go ahead, Rory. My bad. He was done. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got sleepers. I was asking y'all. Oh wait, Donald ago. Glover, Donald Glover, Donald Glover, Donald Glover. Yeah, we got an intern and Rory, and still we don't have the fucking Donald Glover shit. I'll pull it up. What? Listen, hey, Savon, you kind of been falling off since Chris Brown been out of here too. Yo. <laughs> don't think it ain't been going noticed. <laughs> the, 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 the chips is coming late and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the chips are coming late. <laughs> no, for real. The chips are coming this late. This nigga walking here today. Later than everybody gonna throw the chips at us. Yo, What's up, y'all? They, they ain't have no more nachos. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, go walk to the other bodega then. And, and, and I kept the change. Right. It's motherfucker. All right, uh, I'll find it. Great. <laughs> Savon still still ain't even looking. <laughs> don't he gonna be with his man? <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, but go ahead. He gonna be him. with his man. Go ahead and play God around, damn. nigga. Fuck, don't want to bring wild. the nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Where you went for the nachos? All right, here we go. 
I just have a look. This nigga done <laughs> forced him to memorize the name of the bodega <laughs> instead of just calling it the bodega. All right, uh, here I found this little this little piece. I didn't read the entire interview, but this this part I thought was pretty cool, so I'll share it with you. Uh, they asked Donald Glover, "Is there anything you're bad at?" And he says, "To be honest, no. Fire. Probably just people. I I feel him there. I hate people." He says, "People don't like to be studied or bested." He shrugged. I'm fine with it. I don't really like people that much. People accept me now because I have power. But they still think, oh, he thinks he's the golden flower of the black community. <laughs> the golden flower. <laughs> I never want to say golden flower. Ever. <laughs> Y'all ever gave a golden shower? What? Right, just read Just read it. <laughs> just right. read it, man. Uh, <laughs> black, golden flower of the black community. Uh, thinks he's so different. He laughed. But I am, though. I feel like Jesus, my nigga. He didn't say my nigga. I do feel chosen. My struggle is to use my humanity to create classic work. But I don't know if humanity is worth it. Or if we're going to make it. I don't know if there's much time left. Damn. God damn. <laughs> I'm with him. That's what he said. It's dark. He is Jesus. <laughs> Y'all are fucking crazy. He is good at a lot of things, too. Pause. He's like a, a mini Jamie Foxx. He does a lot of things in the entertainment world. No? All right. I thought so. No, you're right, but I'm just going to side with Parks and laugh at you. <laughs> I'm just going to side I, with I Parks. Do, I understand what you're saying. He is good at a lot of things. Uh, was this too much? A little bit. Yeah. You think so? And I'm a Donald Glover fan, but that was a little bit. Yeah. I'm glad he's finally talking this shit now. Because he was always the quiet, timid guy when he was still doing great things, and he was quiet about it. Talk your shit now. Mm, Be sometimes Jesus. you got to just stay quiet, though. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, keep yeah, letting yeah. your work speak for yourself. got to read the context. Niggas always got to read the context when they like the guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you like someone, you got to find an excuse. All right. Fine. And he's got a solid show that's airing this week. So let me call myself God and keep moving. Chad Boswick got paid 875k for Black Panther. Bozeman is his name, right? Bozeman. Whatever his name know. is. Could that be true? Yeah. Maybe with some residuals. Oh, then Monique better shut the fuck up and take that damn 500k. I was just talking to Black somebody Panther. about that. Like, I know that the payroll wasn't that crazy for the movie. But, nah, um, fuck that, my nigga. But I'm, I'm pretty sure like there's probably some residuals and probably yeah, some sure, yeah, uh, sequels and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that's the exact. That's exactly why I always had a hard time acting because I get when the budget is low and you do, then you do the film, but like then when the film come out and just like do great, who door do I knock on? So you got to work that out in your contract before. No, no, you have to work work it out. I ain't working shit out. I'm knocking on the door and say, "Hey, <laughs> hey, weekend numbers came out. Hey, <laughs> hey, we sold 500 million. Yeah, yeah, I'm the lead." Mm -hmm. What you got? Yeah. Good luck in your contract. You're going to laugh me out the door. <laughs> That's what happened at Complex, no? Well, I'm just asking. Right. Wasn't it a similar right, situation? So my killers in my hundred dollar pillars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you hear him? Yeah, don't tell him nothing. I hear old Rory little joke. Just asking, bro. That is kind of what happened at Complex. Yeah. It's okay. Damn. <laughs> listen, Yo, my, listen, knew, my I, loves. We knew, have to boycott I knew, complex. I knew Rory was gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my loves, stand with me <laughs> against complex and their gender bias and their what's the other? I bias? would love to see Joe and Monique have a conversation. <laughs> Why? My, I guarantee I, you, I, Joe I, would start crying in that conversation. I, I guarantee you, that conversation would have gone totally different. I want to talk you to her and her crying. husband. You would have started crying. Her somewhere. and daddy. Get them both on the phone. Pause. Her and daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that conversation would have gone totally different. Because Charlemagne was very respectful. I thought he was very respectful. And you should be respectful. But some of that shit they were saying, come on, fam. Get the fuck. Knock it off, Monique. <laughs> like some of that shit you just got to say, knock it off to. Oh, I read that all wrong. Okay. I'm all going to ask me something and just start reading TV. You know what I'm No, no, no. I thought, I thought it said Russell Wilson hit six home runs in a game. I was about to say, wait a minute. They better sign him right now. No, in practice. Yeah, that, I, that's the part I need. The Yankees are about to hit a whole lot of home runs, though. I, I forgot we had uh, Stan. It's like a friendly reminder every morning. All right, I'm off I'm off of sports. I don't care about Oh, LeBron and the Sixers? What about it? He's going. 
Trust the process. Is that happening? I it's, believe so. Are, are, I can see it. Oh, wait, you're serious. Yeah, I'm I trying to get some jokes off. No, I can see. I can see him going there. <laughs> He's definitely leaving Cleveland. I just don't think he should go. We to LA. know that, but yeah, I, w- I would see him going to Philly. He, I mean, his company represents Ben Simmons. I can see it. How would him and Ben Simmons look? Like a fucking machine. Ben Simmons can't really. Sh- they kind of do the same thing though. No. What do you mean? Similar, like not really shooters, slashers. Mm, no, I mean when you have two players like that, though, they'll figure it out. That's, you a, as as that's a lot banking on uh, Embiid's health. Well, that's why you would bring LeBron over. Embiid's him. not healthy. Simmons can't shoot. Fultz still has a shoulder injury. J.J. Redick is on and a you know one-year what? contract for $24 million. I like that Covington kid. I don't see LeBron. Well, it wouldn't be the same team. Of course, it would be new players over At, there. But, but for the record, I need people to put... I'm seeing like this narrative where people are more and more comfortable saying LeBron is the best player ever. You got to stop that. Like people got to stop saying that. LeBron is not the best player ever. He's far from the best player ever. Far? He's far. far? Very far. I don't know if he's far. Why is he far? Okay, well, let's look at it. LeBron chased the ring, right? He left Cleveland, went to Miami, joined two of the more better players in the league at the time. Uh-huh. Got a ring there. Right. Are you about to be this guy? I'm talking about his career. I'm just looking at it. All I can do is look at your career. And the first thing you say is he chased the ring. He did. He chased it. He won it. But he chased it. Eh. He went and got help. Okay. Whenever it's controversial, that's an, that's an he indictment can't get against over. him. Yes. Whenever you can't get over the hump, you just run to another team that's loaded, or you want to trade all the players on your team away and get new players. Like Mike. Mike never did that. Where the bull? Whoa! Mike, Mike whoa, did. Whoa! Let's whoa! Look, whoa! Whoa! All you want? Whoa, Mike never whoa. did that. When Mike couldn't get past Detroit, what he did? They didn't go out and get a whole bunch of great players. So what was? So what's the difference? When wait, Dennis Rodman wasn't great when the Bulls got him. Dennis Rodman is one player, and Dennis. I, I wouldn't say Dennis Rodman was great. Tony Kukoc wasn't great when the Bulls got them. Lie, lie. I don't remember. I'm not, listen, hold I'm talking on, about hold from on. your these, coming these, from these, wherever the fuck he was coming from. I understand. They called that, that I, nigga I, Euro I, Michael I, I, Jordan. I, I understand that, but what I'm saying is your name. He in, came over. Mike was mad at him your, a little bit. You're naming. You're naming one piece. I'm talking about LeBron has this season has literally traded half of his roster. Why are you saying LeBron? You think LeBron didn't have have anything to do with that? I don't know, Mo. You know, you know that. Then nothing happens in that the organization re- the report, without LeBron. The report came out and said that LeBron didn't know. I that. don't care about the Le- the report. Nothing happens in the Cleveland Cavaliers organization without running through LeBron. Nothing. I don't know how true that is. If they know LeBron's leaving, I don't know if they're still running. Nothing through happens in that organization without it being ran through LeBron. For this, which is why Kyrie Irving left. I hate when Mo act like Brian Winhurst. I'm just telling you what's real. <laughs> this is this is real shit. So my thing is, Mike didn't do all of this. Mike had Bill Winnington, Bill Cartwright, like John Paxson, BJ Arm. Like he had bum niggas with him, and got I'm not, it. I'm not rolling. Nope, I'm not having this. John Paxson was a great point guard. No. <clears throat> okay, so where am I? Where are you not rolling at? Was Bill Winnington a great center? Was Bill? But he had good players around him. Was nigga? Was, 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 was Mario Chalmers a was, great point guard? Was Will Purdue a what's great? What's the other flat top nigga? Was that? Will Purdue a great center? <laughs> I'm not having this conversation with more. Why are you not having... I'm just telling you what's real. Mike, Mike, the greatest players make their players great. Their teammates great. You work with what you have and you get over the hump. It's not like couldn't you're get arguing over- for LeBron. LeBron don't make other people better. Who did he I'm make a better? Fan, he gets, so he, I don't he, care. He, he brings in... He plays alongside players that are already great. Okay. So how can you be the greatest and your n- niggas on your team is already all stars and great players? I think he's still close to I don't, one of I don't, the best. He's probably I, yeah, a top I don't think ten. He's I don't think you could argue he's outside from. of that. No, he's he's top ten for sure. He's he, not far I, you from might even best. argue that he's top seven. But the best ever? No way. I, not over I think Michael it would be Jordan. Hard to put him outside of top five. Not over Michael Jordan. Not over Kareem. Not over Shaq. Not over Kobe. Did no. Kareem chase a ring when he went to the Lakers? Mm. No. He didn't chase it. How did he chase it? He went to the Lakers. That was that was over like contract shit. He didn't like just leave Milwaukee. He didn't just leave. It was contract shit. He the Milwaukee didn't didn't have that that paper. He went and got where the, where the money was at. I don't care enough. I'm a Nick fan. <laughs> I'm myself. just saying, like you got to be real, man. LeBron, I, they got people. I, I, he, great player, but the greatest, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's the greatest. Do we have sleepers? Not getting me into talking about the greatest. I'm just saying because that's what a lot of people are saying that it, you know, because LeBron is on. The, 
Do you can say this is the t- even though he's still playing great. This is like the tail in his career right now. Oh, uh, now you want to use tail end? No, it is though. This is like this is he's he's over. He's uh, at that point where it's like he might have. You know, I believe he's only playing until his son gets to, into the league. I believe that's what his goal is now. Stay healthy. So another ten years? No, I mean ten. This maybe f- five away, four, five. How old is LeBron's son? He's old. he's ready to go into high school. LeBron's only like thirty three. You got another five. Yeah, he's ready to go into high school. So you figure four years of high school, and then by that maybe the rules might change by then. He might be able to come straight out. So I would say another six years, maybe before his son, five, six years before his son gets to the league. I think he'll do it. I'm gonna have this talk with you in a few years. Okay, I, I think that's his goal. He wants to be the first father son in the in the NBA playing at the same time. I believe that's his goal. Would that be? I was, that's I was never good. happened before? No. I don't know if that'd be. Playing? Coaching, yes. Not playing. Father, son has never played in the NBA at the same time. Coaching, yes. All right. But not playing. I think he wants to, I think he wants that. Well, thank you, Maul, for your passion in sports take. Just saying, I was looking at some LeBron I never shit heard the other that day. angle. That's, that's, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah no, that's definitely, I believe that's thing. definitely it. Like one hundred percent. He has no, what? What else is he? He's gonna be the richest NBA player ever. I mean, he has championships. What well, else is it? I want to see Maul and Jalen Rose just talk about sports. <laughs> I want to see Maul just talk about sports with people. But Jalen, Jalen. Yeah, I like I like Jalen. I like Jalen. Like Soon him and Steve gonna have to square up. Stephen A. Yeah, over this Molly beef. You swear they got a beef, <laughs> No, it's man. definitely a beef. It's definitely a beef, but we won't get into that. Uh, all right, now we can finally do sleep it. We get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm please. tired of fucking Maul and Rory not want to talk about anything. <laughs> Safari, anything. Bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what am I going first? All right, fine, I'll go first. I'll go first. So listen, a few years ago, this amazing talent put out an album uh, called Turn the Lights Out, Rico Love, and then he just disappeared, and that was all he gave us. And while he's still not giving a shit, <laughs> he does have an act that he's promoting. As soon as I find the record here, uh, let's see. I don't know. This 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 project is called Everything Is Bigger. Pause. <laughs> Rory, <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the news, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Everything is bigger, and the song is called uh, "Do Good." Her name is uh, TXS, so it's supposed to be like Texas, so it's a play on everything is bigger in Texas. Uh, the song is called Do Good. I think Rico Love wrote this or produced it or did something. I don't give a fuck, but I love Rico Love. And I could just tell when he had something to do. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. When a chick just says my nigga on front of the track. <laughs>
hope it's better than us I hope you don't find another crazy one Lord knows that I will I hope you do good, my nigga Cause my good wasn't good enough Maybe I should, I should be alone, alone. Cause I'm not the one you want Not the one you want Oh baby, oh, baby. never oh, hated my girl So hey boy, you should I'm hoping that you find someone Cause she was never mine I hope to find you in love I hope you do better with us I hope it's better than us I hope you don't find another crazy one Cause Lord knows that I was I hope you do good, my nigga Cause my good wasn't good enough Do good, my nigga Do good, do good This song is great, but you doing a whole bunch of lying when you ever heard a chick that hopes you do good, <laughs> I hope you do good because I wasn't good enough for you. You were never mine. We were never a thing. Well, you know, woman, y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta chill out a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that was T X S. I don't. Hey Rico, let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. Is it Texas or is it T X S? Uh, either way, the song is called "Do Good" off the Everything Is Bigger project. Pause the project. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing? <laughs> I'm gonna see this if has been an interesting. Day. I'm gonna see if Safari could put you on the Paradise Remix. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> tell me, tell me, Rory wouldn't body it. Pause. Why are you pausing a song? Dog, it's just this week with Safari. Everything is paused. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything is paused. Pause. <laughs> you gotta pause it all. Uh, all right. I, do, should I go next? Yeah, we all have ox chords now. So. Yeah, go now. You know Maul's going to play some hard fucking <laughs> Griselda shit. So I have a sleeper project this week, not a sleeper song. Uh, Wait, what? Yes. I'm, what is this I'm plugging doing? the whole project. Well, it's you called, ain't playing the whole project. No, I'm not going to play one record. Oh, um, this is the uh, project that you uh, text me about. Yeah, this is uh, everything is recorded by Richard Russell, who owns XL Records in the UK put together this compilation album. Mm, and it's Rory pretty fire. Sony shit. Pretty, pretty <laughs> fire. Uh, he owns so, the London leg of Sony, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get all those accents, you mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, So I'm going to play one record called Show Love with Sid and Sanfa. Yo, Rory loves Sanfa. It's not to love. No, no. This beat is funky. Hey. Funky. Beat sounds like the tail end of something. <laughs> sounds like a vicious cycle. <laughs> this is the shit Parks being here making. <laughs> I'm putting on. Uh, sa- what, what was the old beat shit? Sound click. You're from Gaia just like Cronus. Is this Sanfa? Yeah. I'm so sick of Sanfa's voice. <laughs> He's such a hater. <laughs> Life is up and 
down the seashore. Yo. I've got two feet <laughs> on my Yo. Dude, what's this? What's Sam. Sanford did you? He, he passed on a hooky one no more? No, Sanford's getting killed on this shit. So oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Sid got him the fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nah, he did get bodied no, on that. Don't try to turn it on. Nah, down. it was really gonna fade out. Is the it? Song's Sam, but I'm trying to sneak back in on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Strong love. <laughs> I'm sick of him. Sam. Every time Sam would come on, it's like he dying to let us know his voice is distinctive. <laughs> Damn, well, I get come it. Come on, man. What Sam did? No, nah, I fuck with Sam. You want on him on, on mood music? Show. <laughs> Sanford would kill a move music track. Uh, word. I will say that. Uh, uh, so yeah, check out Everything is Recorded by uh, Richard Russell because the whole project is really good. Richard Russell is a hard name. And he's old. Yeah, that was dope. Uh, I'm going to play, this is Gritlock. This is called Warfare. Shouts to my nigga Grit. Now you niggas know y'all done fucked up, right? right? Well, I didn't I know. I just want to end. Y'all niggas done fucked around and pissed the wrong nigga Y'all around. in trouble now. <laughs> Quit lots back. I see some come, I see some go, I see hell raise up with 12 gauge to the gun show when we're gun home. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. that pump blow a nigga long go is like, blah, 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 blah. see chump niggas turned up overnight. Huh? That long nose, gone so yeah. Could go dumber than a blonde hoe. Yeah. Two piece, you could get a combo. I'm just calling Score car, say I bore harder than Rondo. Sports car, my courtyard on Chicago. Bullshit that. I really wish a nigga would shit that. Try to take low, it ain't safe though. I got a fool. Gang land, I used to bake grams in that cake pan. I used to sit games in that pink can. And I'ma put two legs in the weight brand. Now I'm gone. Pray and pray on my downfall. They pray and pray on my downfall. They better pray they ain't pray with my pound rolls. Get em. Get em. I see some come, I see some go. I see 12 stop, I see shells drop. I couldn't miss it, I'm sitting in the front row. Niggas took the toilets with tumbo. Better Billy, I can fit him in the truck, though. What? 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 Take a nigga off here yeah. Yeah. Warm face fight, have a safe flight I never fought fear Fear, fear. Pull beer. Tell him who they can take a pool beer ah. He was sitting stiff in the tin man Where you went, man? In the mall. Go, that yeah. one drum full of dum-dums Got a lump sum, you don't want none Six. Better yeah. down 911 to get slumped some Where I come from yeah. Yeah. Better tuck that skunk gun He ain't dump none, not a crumb, hun yeah. Word around the block, you got shit sewn Nigga hit bone and get I'm done I'm calm Pray on my downfall Pray and pray on my downfall. They pray and pray on my downfall. They better pray they ain't pray with my pound rolls. Some come, I see some go, I see shorty leave a nigga for a hundo I ain't know they was eating on the run though. I ain't even less the gun go. Help season in the gumbo. That's Gritlock Warfare. Shouts to Grit. I believe him. I'm frightened. I'm, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> he had all the components to make me afraid in that song. Dogs barking, gunshots, loud ad libs. I'm not betting him a billy that he can't fit the body in the trunk because I believe he could. A name like Gritlock. Not the <laughs> guy I want to bump into in the dark alley. <laughs> of course, of course, Maul's on first name basis. When shout out to Grit, <laughs> that's my nigga. That's my man. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I'm gonna shout him out too. I never met him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Grit. What Yo, up? Grit. Yo, what up, boy? Salute. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Uh, all right. So that's all. That's all we got. Those were sleepers. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning. Oh, before we leave, let's get to some uh, quick rest in pieces. Alongside uh, Bill Cosby's daughter, who passed this week, uh, Reg Kathy passed. He's the actor from probably most notably known from The Wire and his reoccurring roles in Law and Order. Y'all know him if you see him, but yeah, uh, he passed. Uh, Chapter M and America's Pastor passed. 
Billy Graham. Billy Graham. Y'all know Billy Graham. If you ever were channel surfing, you saw two niggas, Bob Ross and <laughs> Billy Graham. Billy Graham is the old white nigga that was 120 years old. That was He was Joel Osteen before Joel Osteen, like way before, like 90 years before. <laughs> and rest in peace. Rest in peace to Billy Graham. Uh, and that's all we got, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I want to shout out to the story that will break tomorrow that we won't get to cover because that's what always happens on a Wednesday. Uh, what else? Oh, I saw a few people talking about, uh, listen, I love Black Panther like the next guy, but Killmonger versus the Joker. Let's just stop. You Let's nervous uh, about Trey dropping that record? <laughs> it's coming soon. I've seen the artwork. The artwork was fire. <laughs> What, the courtroom? Mm-hmm. And you was mad Ooh. sassy in the chat about it. Ooh. That's from his point of view. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Monty asked why the, the artwork was a, a courtroom and Trey is 16. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was a valid question. Like, come on, nigga, you extra. But yeah, there's a reason for it. Parks heard the song. I didn't hear it. Is it yeah, good? I got it. I got it. It's dope. Are there more bars about me? Do I have to respond? Probably. You're not oh, going to, though. Up. I'm definitely not he responding. He hit you with a, at least like a... Uh, 32. It might have been a 64. 48. Oh, yeah. That little tear tray ass. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, don't know either. You do I know. don't know. Everybody knows. I don't hungry. know. I don't know. We played no. sleepers already. I don't know if you would. <laughs> <laughs> we did? Did we play sleepers? Yes, we did. Oh, okay. So the podcast is over. I'm out. <laughs> I don't know.